Selamat pagi. Good morning. Prof. Selamat Ivan. Pagi, Pak Dono. Ah, selamat pagi Pak Topik. Selamat pagi Pak Dono. Halo. Selamat pagi Pak Topik. Wah, ya. luar biasa. Sehat. Semangat. Alhamdulillah sehat. Ya. Ini kita masih nunggu Pak Ivan ya. Tadi sepertinya udah masuk tapi Oh, sudah masuk. Okay. Sudah masuk. Ya. Good morning Pak Ivan. Oh, mic-nya belum. Oke. Okay. Belum masuk. Ya, mungkin bisa dimulai saja, teman-teman. Monggo, silahkan. Uh, uh, ini langsung, langsung dari, saya. Dari MC dulu, Pak Topik. MC dulu. Oh, enggak. Uh, ini lang oh, yeah. lang langsung saya, Pak Dono. Ini, ini instruksi dari teman-teman langsung moderator. Gitu. Oh iya. Oke iya. oke. Okay, okay. Silakan, Pak Topik. Ya ini kita tunggu Pak uh, Evan Lau dulu. Uh, ya, yeah. oke. Okay. Let me say. Jangan lupa nanti apa namanya uh, lagu kebangsaan di kumandangkan ya. Lagu kebangsaan nanti sudah teman-teman sudah siapkan di kumandangan terlebih dahulu. Oke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sebentar, sebentar, sebentar. Saya. <laughs> So, uh, before we start, let me check uh, first. Hello, Dr. Evan. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. So, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Loud okay. And... Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Good. Okay. Uh, glad to hear that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Mr. Dono, should we start? Yeah. Oke, okay. oke, okay. uh, oke, okay. we'll start. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, yeah. Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, welcome to the other visiting lecture series of uh, Accounting Department, Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas 11 Maret. Uh, my name is Taufik Arifin, uh, moderator of today's guest lecture. Uh, I'm a academic staff at Accounting Department, Universitas 11 Maret. And uh, today I will be with you in this discussion of interesting topics about research methodology, especially in the area of uh, business research. And already joined with us today, uh, Dr. Evan Lau. He's a managing editor for uh, International Journal of Business and Society in uh, Faculty of Economics and Business. Uh, University Malaysia Sarawak. Uh, let me say hi. Hello, Dr. Evan. Hi. Hi. Okay. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Okay. <laughs> so we'll start. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. So we will have today's uh, visiting lecture with Dr. Evan. And in this first day, we will discuss about two main topics. The first is about uh, business research and scientific investigation. And the second is about the broad problem area and defining a problem statement. So before we go, uh, uh, so it's our uh, formal ceremony. Uh, let me uh, sing together our uh, national anthem. Uh, please the host to start the Indonesian uh, national anthem.
Thank you. Uh, so before we go to the main lecture, uh, we would like to let Mr. Agung Nur Probohudono, MSE, PhD, AKCA, as the head of uh, accounting department, Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas 11 Maret, to give opening remarks for uh, Mr. Agung. Time is yours. Yeah. Terima kasih, Pak Taufik. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatu wassalamu ala syurfil ambiyai wal mursalin wa ala alihi wasabi ajma'in. Good morning uh, to our honors professors, associate professor Ivan Lau. Please accept my warmest greetings to you. Also to my colleagues in UNS, Dr. Topik, and also Many others, yeah. Also to my beloved student in accounting study programs, Faculty Economic and Business, Universitas Plus Maret. First, on behalf of accounting study program, accounting department, Faculty of Economic and Business, UNS, let me express my gratitude to Professor Ivan Lau that willing to give our student new experience in learning methodology of research, especially in a COVID uh, pandemic era. Welcome, Rof. We wish to get uh, much knowledge from you, and we wish you will have a good experience with our students. Unfortunately, in this pandemic occasion, we have to meet by Zoom meeting. But still, I wish it will not reduce uh, the value of our meetings today. I also welcome to my student, which used to talk by Professor Joko Suharjanto, Professor Dodi Setiawan, Dr. Ani Aryani, Dr. Taufik Arifin, Dr. Ahiyu Tarjo, and also myself, and also the other student of another courses. Today, you will get a rare opportunity to join our study program visiting lecture in accounting. Last year, this lucky opportunity is being taken by your senior that took investment and portfolio theory with Professor Hui Chewi. And also last week, we have Professor Associate Professor Corina Yusef to teach accounting and sustainability reporting. And today we have Associate Professor Evan Lau to teach methodology of research. In our opinion, studying methodology of research is very important. The methodology will give you the path and choosing a really suitable and sound methods that is right for your research project will give you the path to help you success. The methodology will help you the guideline to make your project manageable, smooth, and also effective. More precisely, research method can help us to get a solution to a problem. On the other hand, research method get a solution to a problem and also concerned with the explaining about why, for example, why a particular research is undertaken, and then how to formulate a research problem, 
and then what types of data were collected and particularly methods has been used and why has a particular technique of analysis data used and so on and so on. The study of research method give training to apply them to a very important things. The study of research method provide us the necessary training in choosing methods, material, scientific tools, and so on and so on. Thus, to all my beloved students in accounting study program, you know how important today's lecturing to enrich your knowledge about research methodology. So please follow today's lecturing in your passive. Yeah. I wish this program will go on and a lot of benefit we can get from Professor Ivan Lau. To Professor Ivan Lau, please forgive my student if they may have some lack. Yeah, they may have a probably they may have a difficulty in English since the English is not their mother tongue language. So we can uh, mix English and Bahasa probably it's okay. Uh, Herbie, I will. Uh, once again, I will thanks to Professor Evan Lau to do the visiting lectures today. Also, Dr. Topic, thank you very much for being mod mod moderator for today's visiting lecture. With Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, IRP officially open the visiting lecture programs today. Enjoy the program and Good morning to everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Agung, for the opening remarks. So to save time, let me first introduce our guest lecturer today, uh, Dr. Evan Lau. Uh, he's a friend of UNS, I think, because he had visited our campus several times to also give lecture and also workshop. So it's our honor to have you here again. Um, Dr. Evan serves as the Associate Professor in Faculty of Economics and Business, University of Malaysia, Sarawak. Uh, Dr. Evan also speaks at numerous international conferences in countries like Indonesia, Uni Arab Emirates, uh, Sri Lanka, Italy, and also Malaysia. As today, um, his journal articles publication stand at 95, and he has uh, around 88 research paper published as chapters in books, uh, conference proceedings, working papers, newsletters, and also newspapers articles. And his excellence in research has brought him uh, several award winnings, includes um, a Young Researcher Award in Unimas, Excellent Service Award, Research Medals from Research Expos, Best Papers, and uh, Highest Impact Journal Paper Award. He was listed among uh, top 10% economists in Malaysia since 2008, and the top 12% in Asia since 2012 by Research Papers in Economics Repack Database. Uh, he is among the highly cited authors in Unimas. So uh, before we start the lecture, I would like to inform you that today we will have two sections. Uh, for each section, we will have for about 40 minutes lecture and 20 minutes for discussion. And for questions, you can write it in the chat box or uh, speak directly using raise hand feature during Q&A session. And so uh, without further ado, I would like to let Dr. Evan Law to deliver the first lecture. So Dr. Evan, uh, the time is yours. All right, uh, very good morning to all, uh, especially to the, uh, to the moderator today and to the, uh, uh, the head of department, uh, uh, Dr. Agung just now. And 
you yourself also, uh, the the moderator for today, uh, Dr. Taufik. Eh? Thank you very much for, thank you again very much for the uh, Faculty of Economy and uh, Faculty Economy Dan Business uh, Universitas Blas Maret kerana menjemput saya untuk uh, for this for this visiting lecture uh, lecture uh, for this today and tomorrow. I'm very uh, I'm very honored to be here uh, although in zoom meeting right, right although through online but i'm very honored to to be here to be invited and to speak especially to uh to uh, i mean the uh, fab uh, uh, uns which is very close to my heart so uh, of course i always uh, as been mentioned i've been there a few times and i'm sure i hope this will be the long run uh, we have a long run relationship not the short run relationship and this thing will go on. And I have to say that what you have done uh, for this program, uh, especially the visiting lecture, is a very good program, although we do it uh, online. Like last week, uh, being mentioned by Dr. Agung just now, uh, last week you have uh, Dr. Corina from uh, UITM, also a good friend of mine. And then before that, you have uh, Prof. Uh, Hoi Chi Wai from uh, USM. So, and those uh, those uh, uh, are the uh, I mean uh, is 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 a good thing to expose especially the students uh, uh, for for outside kind of lecture and this is what we can do through this through this time right now through this uh, pandemic in a way is good so at least we can meet at, um, uh, walaupun kita tak berjumpa face to face we can meet online which is very good actually so again thank you very much I think I should. Uh, just share my screen first for the first part. Uh, let me find my, let me open up my notes first. Huh? So sorry for this. Uh, okay, let me go back to this thing again. Okay. All right, so so today we're going to uh, the the topic the topic for today actually uh, the first part of the topic for today is. It's actually not a new topic for everyone. It's, it's about doing research and about doing scientific research, the first part of it. And we are mentioning this, uh, kenapa kita perlu buat research? Kenapa perlu buat penelitian? Kenapa perlu buat, uh, in, in Malaysia, we call it uh, penyelidikan or penelitian, uh, maybe in, in, uh, in Indonesia. And why this research methodology is important? Uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter what field that we are in. Uh, tidak kisahlah apa bidang yang kita, um, I mean, jurusan yang kita ambil di universitas. We have to do, res uh, I mean, uh, you have to do research with certain scientific methodology, scientific investigation. Uh, whether you are in uh, economics, whether you're in business, whether you're in accounting, whether you're in uh, sciences, medical, engineering, Semuanya, di dalam bidang teknik, di dalam bidang medical, di dalam bidang semua jurusan perlukan uh, you need a methodology, a research methodology towards that particular field. So, uh, yeah, this is the front page of mine. Uh, we have uh, Unimas here and uh, the, the faculty, uh, the faculty of economic and business Unistas last Maret. And I put, I link this to SDG, which is you know uh, the thing that normally we do uh, we should link back to the sustainable development goal and to promote quality education also in that sense uh, within the two faculty especially so i'm very proud again to be here i should uh, again say hi to everyone and uh, hopefully you will be with me and uh, mr Taufik, if i'm a, a, a little bit over time tell me because yeah. <laughs> just inform First. me uh, to stop you know, okay, uh, sure. <laughs> all right. So for for this session, and you have any question, please put in your the chat box there. I will try to address that. Saya akan cuba. You can you can put the question uh, in Indonesia in Bahasa Indonesia if 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 it's uh, I mean uh, not necessarily in English. And as what been mentioned by the head of department, we are same thing here in Malaysia. Uh, English is not our mother tongue. <laughs> it's not my mother tongue too. So it's the same thing. Kita serumpun, kita sama, kita serupa. <laughs> Hanya berbeda negara saja. So the first question always uh, supposedly prompt in our mind is that what is research? Apa itu penelitian? Kenapa perlu buat research? Why we need to do research? What's the usefulness of research? Why need to do research? Kenapa tak? Uh, you know, we just 
uh, sit there and do nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, rather than involved in this scientific investigation called research. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter what research we're doing right now. Right now. Okay, let me, let me, let me point something out. Uh, certainly, what is research? According to the book, this is, this is what, in according to the book, the definition, research is a process of inquiry and investigation. To investigate, untuk, untuk mencari kebenaran. Mencari sesuatu, ataupun uh, to find out what is the truth behind certain events. Uh, it's systematic, it should be methodological, it should be ethical, it should be ethics, ethical. We, uh, when we do research, we never forget about ethics. Etika itu penting. Uh, the ethics is very important and it should be systematic. Means that you have the, uh, the steps. Uh, this is a step one, step two, what you should do and so on. Those, itu dinamakan sebagai penelitian. Bukan Bukan uh, kita buat saja lepas tu, uh, you know, sesuka hati ataupun uh, we just do it as what we want, uh, but it must follow certain rule and uh, and and regulation, right? There are certain rule and, and and steps, right? And it should be systematic and ethical, right? It's a it's a process. Research is a process, right? Uh, membuat research process tidak semestinya something that you have to know in mind in general. Uh, bukan saja buat research sebab untuk habiskan uh, your study in 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 the university. Research is not just to do because you want to graduate from the university, but beyond the university, research also being conducted. Whether it's formal research ataupun informal research, so it's still research, right? The formal means that. Uh, because you want to finish your degree, because you want to finish your uh, S1, S2, S3, ataupun because uh, you need that for your, uh, for the, for the dosen, dosen, you need that for the KPI, for the university. Those, those are the formal one. The informal one, you do it uh, maybe from daily life. You observe, you see the phenomenon, you see what is happening around you. So those still call research, but informal research, uh, formal research. So that's my, for my point of view of what is research are. Right, so let me. Uh, research can help to solve some problem, practical problem. It can be. Uh, I mean, normally research for practical problem and should be increased knowledge. Kenapa buat research, right? Why we do research? Uh, that's why the the uh, the picture here. Uh, you know, it's like thinking. Uh, you know, it's like about uh, uh, thinking. What actually we're trying to do? Research solve some problems. So, for example, right now we have uh, the whole world having this COVID. Uh, um, I, I mean, I mean, COVID nineteen uh, pandemic since early of the year. And one of the solution for teaching and learning is through this. It's what we are doing now. That's the solution. So that's the practical, soft practical problem. Um, we can't meet online because. Um, because uh, no, uh, sorry, we can't meet. We can't meet face to face. So that's why we meet online. Because face to face, or uh, we should uh, uh, practice social distancing because we do not want the the spread of the pandemic becoming more severe. Although it's already become severe because the, of almost the whole world uh, at the early of the year are in lockdown, and some countries are still in lockdown, partial lockdown, and so on and so. Whichever definition they call it, including Malaysia including our, I mean, my country. Yesterday, yesterday, Malaysia recorded another high, very high positive case in the country, the highest one since the beginning of the pandemic, the highest one yesterday, record. Uh, every day seems to have a record, <laughs> which is, but the, uh, that, that is uh, on that part, on the, med, uh, on the health side. But the, I mean, one of the solution for the, uh, teaching and learning for meetings and so on is through online. Uh, thank God we have this kind of technology advancement. Thank God the government of the whole world have uh, do move forward uh, to technology advancement for the past at least five years. We have invest the country and the, and the countries in the world now invest more in this kind of technological advancement. I'm sure that including Indonesia and Malaysia and, and so on. So those those are the issue there. Five years ago, five years or few years back, everyone talks about uh, the, 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 the technological advancement, how we're going to replace 
the lecturer, how are we going to uh, be uh, online? We, we, we're going to use robot, we're going to use automation and so on. Now is the reality. Now is the time that this, this uh, the, the, especially on education side, uh, we have transformed the whole university setting into a different setting now. Yes, you still have a lecturer, you still have everyone, you still have the function, but we lesser, try to do it lesser and meet online like this, giving lecture online, <laughs> uh, which is fun in a way, but sometimes it's not that fun, but it solved the problem. It solved a practical problem of uh, COVID-19 infection so that the infection might go down. It's soft in a way, in, in a way. So it also increase the knowledge how, how we should move forward after this. After this, what should we, what should we do? But doing like this, like meeting online right now I'm doing here, it's, it's not only just, uh, it's not only just uh, look at the reality, but at the reality, I mean, one of the realities that it's also safe cost. Safe cost for me, safe time for me, and safe, uh, safe cost, safe time for your site. You can access, you can see this, and it's been recorded. It's been live also uh, 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 through 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 the uh, social media channel, and, and and people can watch it. So the audience, the capture of the audience, becoming bigger and bigger. So this is one of the wonder. Other than negative side of the pandemic, this is one of the positive side of the pandemic. <laughs> but again. If we look at that perspective, what I'm trying to synthesize, uh, try to put to you, apa yang saya nak bagi tahu semua, ialah, you can look at this uh, scenario as a research, the potential of doing research, because there's always an investigation. So what, can, what we can do, how we should improve? Although we are not, kita bukan uh, IT, kita bukan dalam bidang IT, kita bukan dalam bidang engineering, technique or something, but we still can, uh, contribute to the to the country to the uh, to your district and so on in terms of to, to the university in terms of improving this uh, the impact of the pandemic towards especially towards the education side and right? look at the different perspective right so uh, next one <laughs> I think I, I yeah the the next part is that I mean why you want to do research the purpose of research this is this is the uh, from the general. This is from the uh, real uh, or from the book point of view. Why we do research? Right? Uh, the purpose of research: review or synthesize existing knowledge, investigate, and and uh, uh, situation and the problem provide solution. So, I I already mentioned that uh, what what we are trying to do here, um, especially in this time of pandemic, uh, dalam Zaman, era pandemic ini, uh, the, the pandemic time, you have to find solution, fast solution. The university transformed themselves from non-online, now becoming full online. The lecturer, the dosen, dosen seperti saya dan semua kawan-kawan dan termasuk, uh, I, mean, at, uh, I mean, I'm sure at you, uh, the, the UNS side, have to transform themselves, have to get familiar with this. Zoom lah, uh, Webex lah. We use in Malaysia kita guna Zoom, Webex, uh, Google, uh, Google Meeting. Uh, now I think coming up like uh, Discord. Uh, what else the apps? So there's there's a lot of apps for teaching uh, and uh, I mean for online teaching and so on and so on. So things to solve this kind of problem, not to solve the problem of the pandemic, but to solve the problem, to solve what is happening, in, especially in the higher education. I give that as a scenario, right? Uh, explore, construct, create new procedure and system, right? There's a new SOP, we call it standard operating, uh, standard, uh, I mean, uh, the, the SOP, the new SOP for, for us to conduct the class. Even we have face-to-face -face class, mungkin hanya beberapa orang. Meeting pun, our meeting is all online. And then we have a group meeting, small group meeting and so on. So this has been used so that we can improve. Same thing goes to the business, right? Uh, business also have done the same thing, right? And uh, uh, from the business perspective, businesses have changed also, right? Uh, especially this past nearly one year now, the government have provided, uh, the government all over the world have provided certain assistance 
ataupun menolong, tolong uh, atau help the SMEs especially, yeah, uh, help the small medium enterprise, uh, farm in some money to help this thing, to have the assistant, to give them some money to invest and so on and so on and so on. So all those things, actually the purpose for research, the purpose for research, not just to graduate for your, from your S1, S2 ke S3, itu lebih daripada itu. Right? Sepatutnya lebih daripada itu. For new knowledge, we learn something new. Like today, I learn something new also. Right? I learn something new. I might learn something new after this with all your questions. Eh? Right? So this is just a basic one. I will go into more detail uh, in the next, the next part later uh, for, the, for the second part and the third part and the fourth part related to this part. This is just a research paradigm. You have quantitative and qualitative. Uh, depending on which part you are. And, and at the middle, kita ada mixed method. Boleh, we can combine both. Kita boleh kawinkan dua-duanya, kedua-duanya, kawinkan. I use the word kawinkan. I think that is the familiar word. Kita boleh kawinkan dia menjadi mixed method. Oh, some, in some research, is more to quantitative. In some research, more to qualitative. Tapi kita boleh gabungkan ataupun kawinkan kedua-duanya and then This, you have what we call mixed method today. So mixed method is quite famous today uh, uh, in, in the field of research. But again, it depends on what research you are doing, uh, whether it's business research, uh, accounting research, economic research, especially in the fac faculty, economy, the business, uh, management, ke, it, it depends on where, where we are falling. Right? Ke, kalau quantitative, dia lebih kepada uh, testing theory, testing the incident, experimental, uh, and so on. Qualitative, lebih kepada exploring, or induction, deduction, depending on what, uh, what, what focus you are in. So this is just a very basic one. And mixed method, you can combine both uh, in your research later. You can combine both. So this is just a paradigm. Right? Let me move to the next one. All right, so... Uh, Again, this is just from the last slide just now. Quantitative is more on uh, as what we are doing here. I mean, uh, the, the quantitative, depending, the more the concept are in the form of distinct variable, researchers are in independent of being researched. Reality is objective, singular, apart from the researcher, means that you research something, some phenomenon that's on the quantitative perspective. Mungkin like what happened now in the pandemic, maybe pandemic impact towards business, pandemic uh, impact towards the accounting uh, uh, costs or, or pandemic and the, and the education. So, but the sample will be outside and they use, quantitative will use statistical analysis, statistic lah, guna numbers. Qualitative also have numbers, but different way of analyzing, a different way of analyzing. So, quality, we call it quality, than quantity, and the quality and quantity. So we can mix both, <laughs> right? So, uh, uh, and, and data as, as quantitative data are in the form of numbers and precise measurement. So you have, you have a kind of measurement and we use statistic. So for example, you have to see the impact uh, of, of, of the pandemic towards the business. You want to know how much loss does the business In, in, in this particular six, uh, not six months, more than six months now, 10 bulan ini, dalam, dalam masa 10 bulan ini, how, uh, I mean, how much loss does the business occurs? So, so what you can do, so one way that you can do this research is you go to the ground, I mean, not to the ground, you go to the ground, uh, interview the people, interview the sample, the participants, interview the businesses that you want to focus on and see what is going on from quantitative perspective get the numbers and, and so on and do some analysis and then present the result, right? So uh, procedure as standard, uh, is statistic or econometrics, uh, if you're doing some economics work or finance work, uh, use statistics, so the method, survey, experiment, time series, uh, panel, and so on and so on. That is quantitative. Uh, this one is just a mixed method, just to mix in here. Uh, the qualitative looks at, uh, the focus is on the participant. So, and the researcher itself interact with them. Uh, here just now, qualitative, I mean quantitative, not necessarily researcher interact. Researcher mungkin just observe or researcher collect the data from somewhere. 
from maybe uh, in Indonesia, maybe uh, you can uh, you call it data from OJK, uh, maybe from the for your OJK, from your bank Indonesia, from you know all those places maybe, or your uh, from your accounting society or from your uh, business. Uh, uh, association and so on and so on to get the, the relevant data and you analyze. But here, qualitative researcher involved, uh, in, in, involved in the research itself. Yeah, the, and the participant ataupun uh, orang yang kamu nak interview tu mungkin not that much. This one is more on the deep interview, uh, you, but you must have a team. Kena ada team. Uh, mungkin tema dia, team dia is maybe on like say just now on 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 covid then you interview the key people in that interview focus group observation uh case study right uh, so it can be a case study but look at qualitative not quantitative right or, or maybe you want to look at the uh, leadership you want to look at uh, governance you want to look at uh uh, uh uh, corporate social responsibility of of this particular uh, firms, especially in this era. How does the SMEs, how does the small medium uh, industry react to this pandemic? What they can do, how they can improve, right? Um, procedure are not easily replicated because it's very specific for that particular uh, uh, industry, for that particular um, a group of people and so on. So you do very in-depth interview. So that's the difference between qualitative and quantity. So before you have to do research, before even you write your problem statement, uh, or, or, or you want to know your methodology, you have to ask yourself, everyone here in this particular room right now, um, you have to ask yourself, what, what interests you? Actually, you want to go to quantitative or qualitative? Or you want to go both? Yeah, you want to go both, so you should ask yourself. What, uh, I mean, that kind of question. All right. So let me go. Uh, this is just uh, ongoing of what is what we call as scientific research, right? Uh, this is what we call as a uh, uh, call as a scientific research here. Eh? Ini dinamakan sebagai scientific research where you have where you have the uh, you define the objective, you have the research design, you have the sample, and then you collect the data, you analyze the data. Right? Uh, in some sense, this is more towards quantitative, but then again, qualitative also looks something like that, except that the, the method uh, data analysis might be different in terms of qualitative. Uh, we don't, the qualitative do not really look at the uh, statistic point of view, but they look at the team. Uh, you know, how many people, uh, 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 you know, what team that you have. Um, maybe it's more on the if governance let's say you have a six like for example in doing survey maybe you have uh, in doing survey for quantity for quantity you have maybe six item so in qualitative that six item is transformed into team the six team different team so you put there you see familiarities you see that the answer for this particular person and that particular person and this particular person are almost similar so you group them together or they have different response and so on and so on. But you do not analyze using numbers. You don't put numerical numbers towards them. Uh, that's, that's from the perspective of quality. Uh, so can do both. Yeah, it can do both way also. Uh, I, I would like, uh, let me go next one. So that is what we call as uh, the, scientific, uh, the scientific research kind of wheel, right? To do the research, investigate the problem systematically, carefully, thoroughly, uh, uh, follow the process called scientific method. Lah. It must be scientific. Scientific not necessary kena buat macam ni. <laughs> di dalam bidang kita, di dalam jurusan kita, jurusan ekonomi dan bisnes, uh, this might not be useful for us. This is useful for us. I mean, if this is the picture, ini gambarnya, eh? gambar. Ini juga tidak penting untuk kita. Ini penting untuk medical, untuk the sciences. Not us. We we here. We brainstorm, we research, we ask, we observe, right? Uh, the people, the scenario, the phenomenon. We sit down and observe, and see what people do. That can be called behavioral. 
<laughs> you, you see what people post in social media. Go to Facebook. Go to all the other social media platform. Use this WhatsApp. Uh, see Twitter. I mean, see the uh, see what people respond in Twitter. Those are behavioral. That can be behavioral measurement, right? Uh, uh, last week I share. Uh, last week I, I I share. I think one talk with uh, other university here in in Malaysia, and then the uh, uh, one of the participants actually suggests that this is from finance. Eh? Yeah, last week, last week finance. Uh, the finance, the finance perspective. Normally, you look at the uh, ROE, ROA for for that perspective. Uh, uh, return on asset, return on equity, and so on for the measurement of the firms and so on and so on. Eh, to see, or you should look at the stock market. Those are all secondary data, data data secondary. Yang boleh didapati, for example, daripada OJK ke uh, if in Indonesia or all those authorities that have this data. And, and this particular uh, question come from the participant says that uh, that is from that perspective, uh, from the output, pers uh, output perspective. Why not we look at the social media perspective? Right? And from the social media perspective, how, how many people actually tweet on that? How many people share on that not, uh, share on that uh, information and so on and so on. And, and from there you jump down from Google maybe, uh, from Google, uh, 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 not Google Scholar, from the Google search and, and so on, the search and how many. And from there, there's the data and you analyze the occurrence, I mean the occurrence for that. This another perspective of research. They boleh menjadi quantitative juga. Okay? The, from the data, from different perspective. Uh, so you want to know the reaction of people. You want to know the reaction of the people. You want to know the reaction from the society. You want to know what people actually tweet. Uh, uh, for example, in Twitter, what actually people share in Facebook uh, for the past uh, minggu, I mean, one week ago, or two weeks ago, especially at the big, at the early of this month, November month, uh, early of this month when uh, other pilihan raya, uh, I mean, uh, we have uh, election in the US and, and, and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the camp Donald Trump lost the, 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 the presidency. So, what happened after that? <laughs> you, you know, uh, what, what people say in the tweet and what people share in the social media before and after. So look at that scenario and how does this impact the stock, the stock market and, 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 and so on. So it can be an, another important information, right? Information that going to impact. So anyhow, so I'm just, I just give you a scenario of that, uh, more scenario, tadi pandemic scenario in it, Scenario on line pula, right? So certainly that's what we call scientific. Our scientific scientific point of view is not necessarily using this, not necessarily using this. We more on uh, induction, deduction inside our mind and then share the uh, share the, that thing. We do a mind map, we do an investigation, we do uh, a discussion and so on and so on. To create right? and then to test need to test, right? Uh, surely you need to test and then uh, uh, you need to create the knowledge and then observe or experimentation and to confirm the, the concept, right? So, uh, or, or, or to prove the theory, to prove what you have, all right? So, uh, surely that this, again, the very much beginning, what is research and related to that, uh, research must have a clear purpose what you want to do, the relevant, kenapa perlu dibuat, right? uh, what, you, uh, what you want to do must be clear, kena clear, timely, timely means that uh, 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 very much related, uh, quite current and not outdated, bukan outdated, uh, uh, must be efficient, you must have the quality, accurate, reliable, valid, objectivity, and the last one, which is also very important in any, uh, when we do research is ethical. Ethical, very important, because you must do uh, uh, some ethical uh, issues there, uh, because you do not want to have some uh, research misconduct or plagiarism. Ethical is important for doing research. 
right? This is just a picture that I, a flow chart taking from uh, a standard book of research method, business research method, and which you can get it from anyway. Uh, so again, ini macam gambar aja, uh, like the figure before this just now. You must have the objective, and then what sort of technique that you want to use. For example, like this, this is more on quantitative, and then you have a problem, statement, research objective, everything there, and then you're planning a research design, and then your uh, data analysis, sampling, gathering, and draw conclusion. Some, this is more or less the whole graph is, and yeah, this is, I just summarize it down here in this uh, slides here, right? Uh, what's the objective, what's the deliverable, Maksudnya, in the end, what what do you want to achieve? What's the deliverable? Uh, are you uh, the deliverable will be the deliver? Uh, I mean, the the end product will be, for example, uh, finishing up your S satu. Mungkin kamu akan buat satu tesis. Tesis macam ini lah. Lucky I got tesis here. You want to do something like this? A tesis. Ini oh, agak tebal. Ini tesis S 3 di universitas. Uh, Convocation, <laughs> convocation tidak mau dibuat online. So, uh, uh, hopefully convocation next year, but finish this year <laughs> and a lot more. So, maybe that's the end product. Itu product dia. S1 ke S2 ke S3 ke. Uh, the next one, the next one for sure. And then after that. Uh, you must uh, have research design. Uh, we will yeah. mention on this research design again uh, tomorrow, right? Uh, what type of design, uh, research design that involve that you want to do, whether it's quantitative or qualitative, right? So basically, other other begini, for example, a lot more actually. This is this might be more can be can be. A qualitative can be a quantitative experiment also depending on what you look at but mostly are quantitative secondary data are quantitative observation can be uh, uh, quantitative and qualitative you can observe uh, from quantitative uh, from quantitative perspective you observe the 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 behavior that like I told you just now and you collect the data from Twitter from Facebook from Google uh, smart and and so on and so on. Oh, if you do qualitative, quali, quali, the masak guna quali, uh, the the qualitative, then the uh, the observation is just you you sit down and you observe people, or you observe people behavior, or you or you go and live with the peop, uh, with uh, with the society, and see what happened. So that can be a observation also uh, from qualitative perspective right so uh, this one just now as i already told you the selection of basic research method uh, survey for example like this survey can be through phone mail internet in person survey survey bagi question ni right survey to respond this is mostly on quantitative right through phone uh, the, the the sampling method Again, depending on apa kamu punya sample, who is your target, who is your population, who to target. If, if the target is to the student, then student. If the target is to the uh, people in the village, then people in the village. If the target is to the people, everyone, or, or to the firm, or to the uh, those practicing uh, sustainable reporting, uh, I mean sustainable reporting, for example. So it depends on who is the target, who is the sample. How big is the sample, right? And then, uh, and then after that, you gather the data, right? Uh, how to gather the data, and then after that, how to analyze the data, right? Uh, this one is mostly towards, mostly towards survey, kind of research. Uh. You have editing, you have quotes, uh, quant qualitative also have quotes, uh, put some quote because you have the team how to categorize, how to transform 
uh, how to interpret, how to record the data, right? How to uh, you want to put up the data and so on. Uh, whether is uh, uh, and then you analyze the data. This one data analysis we will discuss tomorrow. Some of the some of the example and very basic one, yeah, the very uh, uh, general one also. I think this is my uh, last slide here, <laughs> my last slide for this part one, right? Uh, I always believe, this is what I believe. This is what I believe. Uh, the 3C in doing research is, when we do research, we must have this tiga C. Tiga C, concentration, Concentrasi, commitment, dan continuity. Uh, continuity can be, um, you, you must continue to do. You cannot just stop here and then uh, continue again, maybe uh, after six months, you will lose the momentum. Right? Concentration, concentrate when you do research, when you uh, write your S1, uh, research for your S1, I mean S1, S2, S3, then must be commitment, uh, committed, Commitment must be there. So concern this ini gamba untuk ini gamba untuk konsentrasi. This is this is the picture for commitment. The burger picture is for commitment, and the this picture is for continuity. Why burger picture for commitment? At least you have commitment. I want to have a burger. That's my commitment. So finish this work. I eat the burger. <laughs> That's your commitment. Oh, I must finish this to get this. After all, I always say that research involves daily life experience. It's, the, it's daily life experience, observation. Uh, daily life, you observe people's behavior, you see what people do, you sit down in the cafe, um, maybe not now, not in the pandemic time, <laughs> stay at home. Yeah, uh, and, and Most of the people stay at home. But in, 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 in the kind of normal people uh, mean life uh, is uh, your everyday life is a research by itself uh, from you wake up until you sleep all right and this thing I always believe in yeah, that doing some uh, research is a concentration commitment and continuity I think I will I was uh, I would like to stop here if you have any question that you want to ask uh, we can I can uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll stop here for the first part. The second part, I will share it again. The second part on problem statement. I'll talk more on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the lecture, uh, Dr. Evan. It was a very interesting uh, lecture, I see, for, for the, the, the most basic uh, things about research. And yeah, I think we can combine. Uh, you can either use uh, uh, for the participant Bahasa or also uh, English. So I think we can go to the uh, questions number one. Uh, yeah, in the oh maybe I will let maybe if any one of you want to uh, speak directly, you can use the raise hand feature, and then you can just ask uh, your question directly. Or if no, then we can go to the first questions from Bambang Sambodo uh, in the chat box. So I will read it for you. I th yeah. Is data collecting from social media that you have explained called big data analysis? If so, can Dr. Evan Lau give more explanation about it because my research plan is using big data analysis. So I can get the focus about that. Thank you very much. So this is the questions about the big data. All right. Yeah. There's, there's a person raise, raise the head. <laughs> I cannot see it from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is there any second question or oh, maybe other? If not, I just answer this one first. Can I respond? Yeah, I think, yeah, you can, yeah, you can uh, answer the, okay. the first question Terima first. Terima yeah. kasih ya, Pak Bambang, when, uh, for, for this question. I, yeah, the one that I say not 
not necessarily call big data. Big data tu is more on where you have, uh, I think, huge sample, uh, not huge sample, I should use it proper way. But we, you have a huge collection of data, huge collection of data. Uh, That's what we call big data. Uh, but the analysis of big data, the analysis, analisa un, untuk uh, uh, for big data, uh, you have, then you must know what's the suitable methodology. Itu lebih kepada methodology. Big data analysis, not necessarily just called big data analysis. You still need maybe some uh, some uh, statistical analysis and so on and so on and so on. Observation ke. Uh, itu lebih kepada methodology. Tetapi data itu mungkin dipanggil sebagai big data. Nama data itu big data. Sebab dia involve maybe very big kind of data if you collect from social media for example depending on what is your focus apa focus uh, you, you have to know what's your focus how big that you want to go how small that you want to go <laughs> right uh, I, that's what i want to um, i mean to i mean can mention to you and one thing if you talk about if you talk about big data look at also i mean while you're doing your research look also into uh, something which is quite recent, uh, walaupun sudah ada, uh, the publication uh, might not be so new in the IT field. We call it machine learning. Uh, mach uh, machine learning, uh, that is one part of analyzing the data. You have the data, you use the machine. Uh, memang kita guna computer, tetapi this is a more formal word, uh, machine learning, to analyze the data uh, not just analyzing the data, but come up with certain types of uh, 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 results, and then and then you will can use that for more maybe for the more latest one, uh, the more latest implication today. Uh, we call it big data. <laughs> uh, you use big data, use machine learning as part of analysis. The machine learning analysis, or in general called machine learning, uh, they have they involve a lot of things inside there. Uh, especially related to uh, how does the supercomputer or the computer actually generate and to generate all this data, right? Uh, but again, collecting the data for social media, not necessarily called big data, but it depends on what you are doing, uh, what you're observing and so on. Where do you collect the data, right? I think, thank you very much for the question. Thank you very much for the answer, yeah. Dr. Evan. I, I'll, I think I will let Pak Bambang Sambodo mungkin ada respon atau uh, pertanyaan lanjutan bisa langsung berdiskusi. Thank you, Dr. Lau. I think that's enough. Then I have to search the definition of data analysis. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Ya, terima kasih Pak Bambang. Uh, so we can go Next. to the second questions. Yeah. yeah, this is the questions about the uh, yeah one of the participant interested to do research about Islamic corporate social responsibility by mm -hmm. combining like, the concept in the Holy Quran. So yeah, he needs some suggestions. I think maybe this is a suggestion like what kind of research idea and yeah, those kind of things. All right. <laughs> so um, if you have some idea then, yeah. Okay. Um, this, I would, uh, I'm not so familiar with this type. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not in my field, but I'll try, uh, I'll try my best to try to respond is that, um, Surely, that's the numbers of research, especially related to uh, uh, related to uh, Islamic uh, related topic. Like you have uh, Islamic finance, Islamic economics, uh, related, including behavioral, maybe behavioral. Uh, uh, you can apply the concept of uh, <clears throat> Islamic insight day, and and a lot more other field now are exploring. It's a huge field to exp uh, It's a very huge field to explore. If you look at the, uh, the uh, from my from what I think, you might not I might not be the correct person to say this, but uh, I'll try uh, my very best. And you have the C, uh, the the CSR perspective. You can look at 
the conventional perspective and you can look that at the Islamic perspective if you want to look at that. Uh, or, or I think some article which has already been published, you can look at something called spiritual uh, or, or religious uh, religious uh, uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, religious uh, kind kind of thing related of putting a variable, a new variable to measure religiousity or a religious uh, uh, into that or Islamic perspective put into the CSR perspective maybe and explore that. Uh, you can you can do it quantitative, you can do it qualitative, or both. Do a dual pun boleh, depending on what you are trying to look at. All right, I, I just give you a very general one, uh, how to go into that. And you even can look, uh, because, because you're taking a master in accounting, so surely you want to look at maybe how does the conventional sustainable reporting maybe, uh, or the corporate social responsibility, compared to maybe putting Islamic value inside it, the value Islamic into that model, into what is already uh, having there, and try to improve based on that. So, I think that's something for you to explore. Uh, good things to explore. That's what that's what I can uh, tell you. All right. So, thank you very much for the question. Yeah, thank you for the feedback, uh, Doctor Evan. I think yeah, it's for in terms of uh, Islamic finance or Islamic research. I think still we have still much opportunity to yes. yeah yes. to to the research for it. Yeah. By combining with the conventional and also yeah. the Islamic concept, so yeah. yeah, I think it's still broader uh, opportunity uh, in that area. And again, we still have uh, uh, much time for this first discussion session. Maybe if you have some questions, you can. Uh, hello, hello. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Please introduce uh, yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is Abdullah Azam, uh, Magister of Accounting. Uh, okay. Thanks very much for your response, uh, Professor. Uh, I'm very interested uh, in Islamic corporate social responsibility, and then I want to combine uh, with uh, Holy Quran because uh, I memorize uh, all of Quran. I'm Hafiz. And then, uh, thanks for your suggest uh, for the com for your recommendation uh, to compare uh, about CSR in conventional and uh, your CSR in conventional, and then uh, I will to I, I I will to compare in Islamic uh, framework. Yeah, uh, this is a. Uh, I uh, I am very interested because uh, uh, many ex many aspect uh, in the value uh, uh, for example uh, in fraud uh, scandal and then this uh, moral value moral yeah. value yeah. Uh, so uh, I will to emphasize uh, this is a moral hazard uh, about the fraudulent statement, and then uh, I want to compare in uh, perspective of Islam. Uh, this uh, the main point to uh, about my background. So this is a uh, more more important, and then uh, we are Muslim. Uh, uh, can say uh, ahlak. I think this is uh, more important but uh, behavioral behavioral accounting uh, in the Islamic perspective. Uh, this uh, I will to discuss about this is Islamic framework from many aspect in the value and then uh, uh, innovation uh, and then and so on. This is uh, my my argument uh, to to research on Islamic corporate social responsibility. The main point is value value uh, in account accounting behavioral. 
how do you think about uh, this is my reason yeah um again again like i i have to mention this uh, clearly that uh, i'm not in the in this this is actually not my field of 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 study as i told you but in general in general that one thing you can do right now today after this after this uh, is that you can google islamic csr or they uh, they call it i csr uh, i csr uh, the you you google it just use google uh, google.com uh, you just uh, google it you can find a lot of things actually on i csr and and what they have this what they have research on especially the researcher from malaysia ada banyak sudah publication researcher in malaysia uh, on i csr I, i just google it here beside while you while you uh, trying to put some some uh, thoughts of yours inside there i google it they they numbers of application especially towards the financial institution and 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 so on and to towards the firm is already there but surely there are certainly still need more research on that it's just that what is available in the literature and apa yang kamu boleh buat dan as what as what you told me just now the value you want to see that value you want to see from the perspective behavioral accounting but from the perspective of islamic uh, uh, perspective this that is good to explore but you have to know your literature uh, what they have done in literature yeah uh, literature kena ada and you, they have, i mean they have done it they have, they have the framework uh, since almost 10 years ago sudah ada banyak paper published on icsr islamic corporate social responsibility framework from the perspective of uh, i mean sharia and all those all those other perspective right so look at that read and see what you can uh, improve from there and then you can do that for your research for your uh, master of accounting research all right that's my um, that's my advice to you thank you Okay, thanks very much, Professor. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you for the response. And maybe if anyone of you still have questions, and uh, yeah, uh, this is just my personal questions, Dr. Evan. Yes. Uh, is it allowed for me to ask a question? Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I try my best. <laughs> no, this is not apart from the the technical uh, things. Okay. I okay. think it's a, it's a academic stuff. So, can you share your experience or some tips how to maintain the 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 continuity in doing research or the maintain the motivation to do a research? Because, as you might know, that I'm not sure in the condition in Malaysia, but in Indonesia. You know, like for for academic stuff, we not only do research and teaching, we also do some uh, a bunch of uh, administrative things and so on. So, what's your uh, uh, tips to to maintain this motivation? Because uh, in my in my experience in doing research, we need to to focus in yeah during finishing our research. If we do something else, then Yeah, it's just not easy to going back to 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 start a rewrite and do the analysis and so on. So, uh, could you please share some uh, tips for us? Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this this is an interesting uh, question. Uh, that, uh, topic. Uh, sh- surely that I I always believe in this. Uh, this is what I believe like in myself is that. Uh, We always have, uh, we should always have motivation from ourselves. It should be called uh, internal motivation that motivates us to do something. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, in this case, it's research. Uh, you must have internal motivation, and as I say, also you must have a kind of commitment. The commitment not necessarily translated into something negative, but it should be something positive should enjoy doing research uh, surely but the commitment must be there and the motivation internally must be there right uh, that's from internal perspective from the outside uh, perspective surely uh, w- when you see your friends around when when you see other researchers when you see the other places uh, y- you might get your external 
motivation from outside, from friends, from so on. Uh, for me, I get a lot of external uh, motivation from my friends, my research friend, uh, like uh, like 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 numbers of my friends in Malaysia here or outside Malaysia who who do research or publish a paper. You know, they share, they publish a the paper, they share uh, in social media or they share in uh, within within our friends, the group of friends, and then you get motivated, not get dismotivated. <laughs> you get motivated and you move forward, so, and that's the next level slowly continuity. And another word that I always put in my mind is sustainability. <laughs> not just sustainable reporting, sustainable this, sustainable development, not just that, but sustainable also. You must be able to sustain and to, and always be relevant in that sense. Um, it, we might have so many activities. Uh, we also, uh, as a lecturer, we teach, we provide this, provide that, we, uh, and so on. That's, uh, the academic uh, life. We have our own life, our family life, uh, our uh, and and so on and so on. So we have to have all this, put all this thing, di dalam keseimbangan ataupun uh, equilibrium. You must have this, you must have that, and and so on. And make sure yes, most of the time we might do not have much time. Like myself, uh, I do not have much time. Maybe this morning, this whole morning already is been taken off. And then afternoon, I have another commitment, and then uh, up to night time. So when when the when my kids my uh, 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 when when my boys are sleeping, only I do my job somewhere in midnight, and then and then early morning. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to work. So so this kind of commitment, you have to commit to ourselves. You have to set a deadline, maybe to ourselves. This is the deadline. Try to achieve it, and and so on and so on. But do it in. Uh, do it in your own pace. Do it, buat dia di dalam pace sendiri. Uh, if and and for example, also I I I also run. I like to run. Uh, also, uh, I run every day. Uh, I have to take my time to run. I have to say okay. Uh, enough for the computer. Enough for the laptop. Everything. I go to run for half an hour, for one hour, just to uh, just to make sure my mind is still there. And get back the motivation, motivation. It needs more motivation, not on motivation. So that's me, to ensure that is sustainable. But yeah, I might, uh, mungkin dia ada pelahan sedikit. Uh, our our progress a bit slow, but slow better than no progress, <laughs> right? Yeah. So so again, I think most importantly is internal, internal to penting, uh, internal. Internal motivation, motivasi di dalam diri sendiri itu penting, sangat sangat penting. Dan dan surely that uh, you uh, along all this earthly thing, all this uh, earth punya thing, uh, family and so on, you must also trust uh, God. Surely, religion, you must trust your own uh, our religion, our own religion. Every religion teach us to be like this, like that, like that, to be a good person and so on. So all those value must be there. In, in, in one self and then we con we can continue our research and uh, no problem right and <laughs> for me thank you yeah thank you very much for, for the sharing yeah terima kasih uh, sharingnya uh, uh, mungkin sedikit uh, sorry in uh, sorry in bahasa uh, adakah uh, waktu khusus misalnya apakah mungkin uh, untuk memaintain kontinuitas uh, misalnya satu minggu itu khusus hari Kamis itu doing research atau mungkin hanya malam hari misalnya uh, yang ini uh, sangat teknis tapi mungkin bisa juga uh, uh, sedikit sharing mengenai uh, apa ya hal teknis seperti ini terima kasih ya yeah. <laughs> the, the question is to me right <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Uh, I uh, previously, uh, I mean, a few years back, I have, I have, uh, I have more. I, I I would say that I have more. I have more time actually. Previously, I spend I spend most of my uh, time uh, doing research, especially doing research writing and so on uh, uh, at night time. Uh, normally until maybe morning, uh, early morning or something like that. Uh, malam selalunya. Uh, but right now, um, uh, this past, at least this past two years or three years, I'm more, 
because I've uh, a little bit more commitment with uh, with my uh, with my boys around, <laughs> uh, with family family matters. So so there are still the first one, the priority. The family is still the first one, and then health also, and 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 surely work commitment and all the other things are are there also. It's just that now I have more uh, arrangement, different arrangement. So uh, yes. I'm uh, in, in a week, normally I would dedicate not necessarily a day, maybe half a day or maybe a few hours or I try to do it maybe a few hours for 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 few days in a week for research, just to do research and not other thing, you know, and, and, and so on. I have that, but I do normally I will do it maybe uh, normally I do it on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday or yeah, Wednesday, normally I'll do it Wednesday, but uh, the plan can change. Maybe Wednesday sometimes I also busy with other commitment meetings and so on. So I change that plan, change it accordingly to to the planning. You have the planning, but you might change accordingly because uh, sometimes sometimes unexpected thing happens along the road. So so boleh. I, I spend some time. I I also the uh, I also managing the journal. So I have time for the journal. I have time for my lecture, I have time for this, I have time for the family, I have time for do this, and I have time for consultancy up there, I, uh, out there, and I still have time to run, <laughs> uh, I still have time to see my friends outside there, uh, to, to spend my time, uh, uh, I mean, on myself, and to bring the kids out, the uh, family out, and so on and so on. <laughs> so, semua itu adalah planning, walaupun it's not a perfect plan, but at least there's a plan and to do what you need to do. That's what I'm doing, right? Untuk meneruskan, untuk meneruskan the, the, the research and so on. Okay, this is yeah. what I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you very much for the sharing. Uh, I think if we don't have any questions, yeah, uh, is it okay for you, Dr. Ivan, to move to the next sessions or you need a few minutes to... Uh, for uh, yeah, to to uh, for us or maybe take some break. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay to carry on. I'm okay oh, okay, carry on. okay. <laughs> then uh, we will have the second sections about the broad problem area and defining problem statement. Okay, All right. I will. So, so yeah, you the time is yeah. yours. You can start now. I Thank stop you. The, I stop the sharing first. I open up my the other slides. Thank you very much again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for still staying uh, with me this morning. Uh, I see the participant ada satu ratus lapan puluh lapan. Ya, ini belum termasuk yang di uh, YouTube because we also uh, live do it. Yeah, do a live streaming on YouTube. Wow, live in YouTube. Yeah, YouTube your YouTube the faculty channel is it? The I faculty. think yes, yes. Yeah, later you can you can check it. How many views there? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Later on, I will uh, I will I will share in my own YouTube channel also. So you put another YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. Okay, yeah. It, not not bukan famous, but I'm not uh, I'm not the uh, artist or anything. But I I do my I do my YouTube channel because of uh, the online teaching. So I share most of my notes inside there. Online notes inside there. Uh, nota, nota untuk uh, my class. So anyhow, this second part will be uh, after continue on uh, of actually what is research and what is scientific research are. And I give a, a much uh, different, uh, you know, uh, a standard perspective, the the paradigm and, and what we can do, what is called scientific and uh, research and why we do research and so on. Now we have to know, uh, now the second part will be more on what is actually research problem, what is problem statement as big picture and what should we do, do about that? And when, apa, apa boleh dibuat? And what, how to identify the problem and how to go ahead with the problem statement and so on. Right, so I hope everyone is still there. I, uh, always remember this. Saya suka quote ini, walaupun daripada orang yang sudah meninggal, <laughs> uh, from Francis Bacon. Uh, if a man begin with certainty, he shall end with doubts, in doubts. But if he will content to begin with doubts, he shall end in certainty. 
itu sangat sangat relevan in doing research doing research especially you should start a research with uncertainty doubts question persoalan soalan you must have a lot of question in your mind when you want to do research not not already have the answer kalau sudah ada jawabannya jangan buat research itu buat research lain research yang sudah ada jawabannya itulah jawabannya <laughs> right you should start yes walaupun dia ada jawapan but you still can think more uh, maybe some innovation you improve the research you improve what people have done so just now one of our friend in this group just uh, in this uh, uh, the earlier question just now was on uh, islamic corporate social responsibility tadi saya google saya dapati bahawa banyak uh, actually publication on islamic social uh, corporate social responsibility so it might not be something very new ya eh, sudah ada mungkin sudah ada jawapannya sudah ada frameworknya sudah sudah di explore oleh banyak pengelidik researcher but you still can do it from the different perspective from the perspective of indonesian perspective maybe from uh, from a different different type of value different type of application right so no problem but as long you still have question in your mind soalan persoalan tu kena ada and doubts you, uh, you still have doubts say, say, uh, saying that this is not right i should do this i should do that and should do that that is way you should start In the end, you know the answer. You confirm this is the answer. But if if you start your research with certainty, I know what I want to do. I know this is the plan. I know this is what I want to do. Yes, certainly you must have a plan. But that plan change accordingly to the environment, to what we have, like right now, like in the time of sekarang ni zaman era pandemi. I mean, uh, zaman pandemik ini, nobody think that semua orang menanti tahun 2020. Uh, semua orang menanti tahun 2020. Uh, termasuk saya di Malaysia ni. Tahun 2020 sebenarnya adalah tahun yang sangat penting untuk Malaysia sebab kita ada wawasan 2020 yang sudah 30 tahun lepas wawasan 2020 menjadi negara maju menjadi ini menjadi ini menjadi masuk saja 2020 tom in the beginning uh, at, at, at the beginning of this year ada sedikit political political turmoil in in the country in Malaysia kita uh, daripada uh, then change of government government sudah bertukar kerajaan sudah berubah <laughs> kerajaan sekarang uh, uh, sebelumnya adalah pakatan harapan sekarang menjadi pakatan nasional. Perdana Menteri sudah tukar awal tahun. Selepas itu pandemik datang. At the same time pandemik datang sampai sekarang. So mungkin ini bukan tahun 2020 yang diimpikan, dimimpikan oleh semua rakyat Malaysia. But we need to do something. Uh, we uh, we we have to come up with a solution and 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 so on. So so although there's the issue there tahun 2020 but they have to move forward what what should we continue on after this what should we do after that right what's the impact right? so begin a research with a doubt question and then you will end up with certainty okay uh first of all the most important step untuk buat research persoalan eh sebab itu saya buat persoalan besar di sini question big question mark formulating and clarifying research topic the first perhaps most important step in the beginning of research project is to decide what's the research question right a uh, question apa kamu nak uji contoh tadi talks about islamic corporate social responsibility so maybe that's the question and to put in Uh, the Quran inside there. You have to put in the value. You have to put in the ethics. You have to put in all those uh, 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 value, positive value inside there, inside that framework. How does the conventional one, and how how does the Islamic point of view, right, and all the other sense, right? So, what is the research question? Focus, topic of interest. Surely you must have the topic. Kena ada topik lah sebelum buat research. <laughs> Apa topik yang interest you? If, if your topic 
if your research is about uh, to look into, to analyze the so-called big data and to look into what we, what we call as big data, to look into some behavioral uh, of the big data and so on. Uh, so carry on, that's the topic. Yeah, because the research question will impact literature that you read, data to be collected, kalau ada, or data will be not necessarily quantitative, qualitative also, both sides, and then the hypothesis, the analysis, and the conclusion, the whole research, must have research question first, must have the topic of interest, right? Uh, ask yourself, which, which actually, um, which is actually the most important uh, things to do, you know, what, what, what you need to do, okay? Uh, so the research question must be there first. How to formulate research question? I will uh, just put, 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 put off uh, some idea here. Uh, here will be on the research topic. Sit down and see what interests you, what interests yourself. Right, uh, identify the good research topic, the specific research topic, the idea, and then uh, suitable topic, turning the idea into clear research question, objective. Uh, I mean, write the research proposal. Remind, uh, uh, remember, you must start some way. So, surely. So, the first thing normally I do if I want to start a new, not, not necessarily new research. The thing normally I do, or the thing normally I will say to my own student is that you want to find a topic, Google. We have Google now, Google. Google your interest. Let's say you're interested in this topic, this particular topic. Just now we have two different topics. Uh, ada dua topik yang berbeda. Satu topik berkenaan dengan big data analysis. Satu adalah berkenaan dengan Islamic corporate social responsibility. Google that. Lihat apa ada di dalam Google. Lepas tu, baca. Read. And then from there, you came up more idea. More idea, you generate more. Uh, more idea, more problem, research question, and so on. Semuanya akan terkeluar di dalam uh, our brain when you read. Right? Fine. Find the information. You want to know? Find the information. You want to know that? Find the other information. You want to know on machine learning? Fine. You want to know on this topic? Explore. Right? But certainly what interests you. If you talk about just now, I uh, did mention about behavioral accounting. So Google, what is behavioral accounting? Uh, what field is it uh, in? Or I think one of the uh, uh, topics that been explored a lot actually in the literature or, or maybe uh, in the literature is on earning management maybe on uh, uh, what else uh, on the uh, sustainability reporting or maybe on uh, 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 fraud uh, to detect fraud maybe to detect uh, certain kind of uh, certain kind of wrongdoing in the company or to look at the uh, to look at the uh, accounting information system maybe and those those kind of topic especially i'm talking about here in accounting uh, basically or in uh, in business perspective maybe look at management uh, perspective you look at the uh, csr is always a very interesting 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 topic uh, look at that read now with the help of google other google google kan dulu sebelum kita decide ini this is just one example here. I, I put this example. Maybe you look at that, maybe a little bit small there, tetapi tak apa. All of you will get the slide. Yeah, all of you. Yeah. Okay. All of you will get the slide very soon after this. this Good talk. dinner. Yeah. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Ivan Lau. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 Abdullah Azam. My name is Abdullah Azam. Okay. It, it, uh, uh, maybe we can do it for the questions. Is it okay for you, Dr. Evan, no. to do it now or later? No in the... No problem. No problem. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Okay, please. Uh, Pak Abdullah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much for your attention, uh, Evan Lau. 
uh, thanks very much for your suggestion. Uh, this uh, good opportunity. Uh, difference between topic, problem, purpose, and question. Uh, even now, uh, I just uh, to ask for you about the forecast ac accounting because uh, uh, you know uh, 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 my mission goal uh, to get uh, MDGs you know MDGs uh, is uh, itu adalah tujuannya uh, untuk mencapai konsep MDGs dimana saya ingin uh, menawarkan konsep CSR di situ tujuannya untuk Uh, di tahun 2045 terus kemudian ingin saya prediksikan uh, uh, di tahun mulai saya ingin merumuskan semacam framework yang tujuannya untuk mencapai SDGs and MDGs in 2014 is uh, my goal jadi untuk mencapai itu jadi banyak sekali problem-problem sosial yang ada di sekitar kita dan uh, itulah yang uh, menyebabkan saya sangat tertarik sekali untuk mengkaji konsep CSR yang terus kemudian harapannya bisa diimplementasikan dan di tahun 2045 uh, tujuan dari MTGs itu bisa tercapai uh, mungkin ini sedikit agak berhayal ya Bagaimana ketika kita itu memforecast, uh, to forecast uh, about the future uh, uh, from uh, this year to predict uh, in MDGs in 2045. Uh, pas uh, untuk berapa tahun ke depan, apakah bisa uh, research itu bisa menjawab suatu tantangan ke depan? Thanks very much, uh, Ivan Lau. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for 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 asking uh, asking me the the so-called uh, relevant uh, things, especially. So, if you already have that very very clear thing that in mind, you should put down in words and so on and write the thing that you want to do. Uh, and surely that uh, they would hopefully to contribute to the body of knowledge, to the literature and so on and, and, and to have a model, a framework that can be useful in the future also. Uh, for if you ask me why, uh, the, the question is that why you want to look at so far away? Kenapa perlu tengok sampai ke tahun 20? Uh, 2045. Yeah. yeah. Kenapa jauh sekali? Kenapa tidak? Kenapa tidak, uh, you know, uh, just you know, next year or the year after or something like that. So, but anyhow, that's that's within you and the uh, and 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 what you're doing. But but I uh, you have to formulate that more. You have to have a topic, and then you have the research problem is there, and then uh, the the problem statement is the research question. So that then you know what they are doing uh, going on. Okay, I think I could give that. Uh, uh, very simple advice only uh, uh, and you can search more of the topic that you're very interested in uh, I, and very consistently that you're very interested in this so no problem good that's a very good start for a researcher thank you very much so uh, I continue this thing right okay. all right so uh, this is just an example of one topic might not be uh, or should i ask this question first uh, do you think this topic still relevant now if uh, in, uh, i mean this topic or this research still relevant about gold dina do you think it's still relevant at this moment i think of... relevant i think relevant okay because uh, gold dina is very stable Uh, in the Holy Quran, uh, we can said be wari kikum hadihi ilang madina. Uh, uh, dinner is very stable. I think this is my, my answer. All right, thank you for your uh, from 
from a perspective. What else? What else? The others, you know. Do you think that this topic still a relevant one to be done as of now? Timely, it's still relevant. It's still, uh, it still have uh, uh, exploration to replace the fiat money as we have now, or maybe there's some other re uh, a replacement uh, like virtual money, like e wallet, like all the other things right now. Rather than we have a, uh, uh, rather than we have this kind of uh, this kind of money right now, the paper money, we might use other kind of money for transaction today. So, is it relevant? So, <laughs> so this this is this is one of the topic that is uh, uh, just just to just to brought up your mind so that uh, to look at what is. statement itself and then the research question from general to more specific right uh, from from more general to more specific i think my internet connection might not be so well i say but anyhow so i hope i'm not lagging if lagging then you have to tell me i have to off my yeah with... oops it's lagging right i i yeah. I, I off my video first <laughs> oh, okay yeah but now it's Clear enough. Yeah, I off, yeah. I off my video, then it's clear. Uh, all right, I off my video for now. So uh, the, the topic is about, uh, here the topic here, very general topic is about Godina. And then why this thing exists is because of the, as we all know, the instability of the so-called the currency, the fiat money that we use uh, uh, in, in the economic system. And this thing has popped up, especially like what, 10 years back or more than 10 years back. All right, so and uh, uh, that's the research problem because of the crisis, because of instability value of the fiat money of the currency we use, fiat currency that we use, and that's the problem statement. And then the uh, the purpose is to study why or the objective. The purpose is to study why the fiat currency is unstable, uh, unstable, and what we can do about it. And uh, uh, the research question, does the introduction of gold dinar can produce a more stable currency, a better one, to avoid economic crisis, uh, to, to, to avoid uh, uh, the next forthcoming crisis? Now we are having a crisis, but do you, uh, do, do, uh, does, does this thing, does this um, uh, uh, gold dinar or related to that um, can be the solution? What's the solution for, for time being, for, for now? Right, right. Uh, not just for now, for for the next, 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 uh, future. So those are the thing. Uh, for example, if the topic is Godina, and this is the research problem, right? Uh, this is the research problem. Hopefully, I get some uh, audience there. This is the research problem, and then you have your so-called like objective or the purpose to study it, and then the research question. Uh, does the introduction of the this new uh, or, or the Godina will ensure that the market is stable or, or the stable currency and then it would avoid more, more crisis because of the stability of that. So these are the things that you can put into your perspective, uh, your own research, your topic, and then you uh, go down a bit on the research problem and then the objective or the purpose or the purpose and then the question, personal and research question is important. So uh, I just go into this more detail. A uh, research problem is so-called, it's an educational pro, uh, issue, not necessarily educational or practical issue also, right? For academic point of view and from practical point of view, from policy point of view, right? So uh, that's research, uh, research problem. Research question are those that researcher would like to answer or address in the end of the study. Right uh, in the end of the study, that is research. Uh, that is research question, and the objective is to address also the problem. Right, uh, uh, the objective is to study this, this. But the question is that how to study that? You have this question: whether this will improve that, for example. All right. So uh, this is the the problem specified into the terms. Uh, this one always ask ourselves: why? Kenapa? Mengapa? Bagaimana? Di mana? 
Right? How, what, what, what matters? Which, uh, which matters? Way and when and why? Why all this matters? Uh, always ask ourselves. Do not every time you write, every time you uh, you write your introduction, write your page, write your problem statement, write your uh, methodology, write this thing. Always ask yourself how. How should I do that? How should I do that? Where should I do that? What's my target? And when should I do that? And so on. So with all the question, more question, more uncertainty, hopefully in the end of the day, when you finish the research, semuanya, menjadi, uh, semuanya ada jawapan. Tapi perlu ada persoalan dulu. Perlu ada soalan, baru ada jawapan. Tak ada soalan, tak ada jawapan. <laughs> Now, always ask yourself, ask ourselves, right? So, if uh, jika research to mungkin uh, for for us for most of, uh, for some of us, you think that research might be a little bit difficult. It's about the scientific, uh, no problem. Look at our own life every day in the morning. Kita bangun pagi. Uh, you know, kita uh, bangun pagi, mungkin kita, apa perkara, uh, what, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Check your handphone. <laughs> check our handphone, check whether there's a message and so on. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what we do uh, first. And then we go to, uh, we go to take bath, we eat and so on. So, and, and uh, then after that, we have to decide what to wear, apa kena pakai, uh, baju kita ke, apa ke, where, where to go, what to do today, what's the plan for today. Where you want to go? Why you want to go there? What? How are we going to meet people? And, and and so on and so on. So itu semua persoalan. Sama juga dalam research. Tanya itu, right? If we walk from home, uh, for time being, we walk from home. Then we should ask the question: How we should balance our work and 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 the uh, family with kids running around with uh, extra noise, with uh, this thing, that thing, with uh, cooking alongside, lepas itu, uh, uh, and, and buat ini, buat itu, and that, you know, to all those questions, semuanya ada soalan, type of question. Sama juga dalam research, how we can do that? If we are focusing on uh, a topic like just now, go dinner, I just give an example uh, in the previous slide, then we should ask ourselves how we do that. What should we read? Where should we read? What's the focus? And why? All right? And a lot more. This All this question. Use the knowledge of theory to exist in developing the research problem. Theory is important. Yeah, although uh, this might... Uh, the theory is important to guide us. The theory itu macam... Macam Quran lah. Ataupun macam uh, kitab ke, uh, kitab suci ke. And, and, and the rest of it, yeah, so that we don't get wrong. So must have theory behind whatever we do, right? You want to improve the theory, you want to test the theory, you want to formulate a new theory, that one come after that. But first thing, when you do a research, when you have a problem statement or, or, or you have a research problem, you must have a theory to guide you, right? Uh, so yes. This one is just uh, uh, the, the, the process. Okay. Uh, the topic, the research problem just now already told you this thing. What's the concern? What's the issue? What's something to be need a solution? What's the evidence from the literature? Baca. Any no shortcut you need to read. What's the fact? What happens now? And then um, what's missing? What we can improve? What's your innovation? Uh, where, right? And then what's the theory? And then how are we going to uh, the discussion, let's say, after you get there, how we address that in terms of researcher, educator, policy, individual maybe, how is it relevant? Right? Okay. Uh, this one surely is part of it. <laughs> First steps is ensuring research is relevant. Must uh, relevant to ask yourself. Uh, if it's not done correctly, reminder of the research process will be useful. Garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> uh, means that must be relevant, must be timely, must be still, uh, must be new, new. 
Mm. Um, when do research normally uh, our and and you must link that back to the big theory, the uh, link that back to some to some uh, to your theory behind. You must link and so on. Um, must have good uh, clear understanding what is going on. Right? It can be a problem. It can be opportunity. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm at the next slide. Eh? Okay. Identification of research problem open up a new question. Opportunity to test new idea, reinterpret all problem from fresh perspective. Right. So it can be such a way, no problem. Uh, it, it look at that perspective uh, and, and so on. How to improve the problem, how to improve the solution, how to improvise, how to have innovation. Right? They do, do this, that is like a, a research problem itself. Right? Research problem itself. Uh, so it must be so-called more relevant so that it will come out more of this. All right? So uh, again, continue on. The, again, the question there. This one, slightly ini ada soalan there. Soalan. Ada question mark always. Right? This is the area of conflict, concern, controversy, ke, the gap you want to explore, research problem, uh, more relevant, more relevant references that support the claim, establish the importance of the topic, create reader interest, focus on attention, how it will add to the literature, and so on. I, I want to share, oh, I, I have a lot of things to, to share actually. Um, one thing that me and some of my friends are doing doing right now. Um, uh, more recent one, we have, we have. Uh, let me let me let me find something interesting for you. Uh, yeah, it's on my table. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we just got uh, we just got a grant a research grant actually. Me and some of my friends from other university. Uh, the grant is called, uh, the topic of the grant, uh, topic title grant itu adalah Determinants of Happiness. Menarik eh, topik dia. Topik dia Determinants of Happiness. Ataupun uh, dalam bahasa ialah uh, faktor, ataupun uh, Determinants of Happiness. What makes people happy? <laughs> what makes people happy? Uh, we look at the social perspective. Uh, especially and look at the uh, economic perspective, maybe financial perspective and the other perspective also. So we look in, we will look into that. There's some research that we are trying to do and answer. Um, this research will answer on the SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, because in Sustainable, sustainable Development Goals is not just to promote quality education to uh, to ensure that there's no poverty and so on. So those, those are the issues that we want to address in terms of happiness. So that's the research problem. The, the objective is to come up with a model uh, the, or the question itself is to come, to come up with a model that might be suitable for uh, our application is actually only on satu, satu daerah sahaja, satu district sahaja, satu kabupaten. Kita nak cuba untuk satu kabupaten, and they, we were going to uh, do uh, interview and uh, also look at uh, a survey, and then interview also. So we might look into both perspective of mixed method. That's our plan. That's our plan. So determinants of happiness. <laughs> so uh, you see that might create some interest, and we read the literature. Ada banyak sebenarnya in the literature talks about happiness, the measurement of happiness. Does, does money equal to happiness? More money, more happiness. Less money, less happy, and and so on. So those, itu itu adalah satu issue yang kita nak tengok juga. <laughs> and and what makes a couple or people happy? Uh, stay at home happy, or working, uh, working from home? Are you uh, happy? Oh, so those are the maybe uh, I, I mean the issue that we want to link to. So this is one of the grant that we got. And uh, another grant that we uh, also uh, got recently is about uh, uh, digital poverty. Wah, digital poverty. Kemiskinan di dalam digital. Kemiskinan digital, uh, which is interesting topic today. We are talking about digital technology. Uh, 
where, where everyone now attending class or attending lecture or do something online. You know, mostly we spend our time online now uh, uh, compared mostly last, last few years rather than face-to-face -face doing meeting, doing businesses, meeting people, uh, classes and all the other things, mostly are online right now. So we look at that perspective of uh, whether this digitalization actually have provide a better opportunity or actually actually more 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 population actually still di dalam uh, di dalam kemiskinan uh, ataupun kemiskinan maksudnya kemiskinan in the sense of digital miskin dari segi digital bukan miskin dari segi miskin uh, but then again we will look at that perspective also so that's the research problem that's the question we want to answer the objective in the end of the day is to achieve to make sure that we might have come up with a framework or the index of digital poverty for hopefully for Malaysia, if not just for a state or a place in, in the country. So this is two quite recent research uh, grant that we got. So, uh, and uh, I think it's interest, uh, it, it will create a lot of uh, reader interest and the attention and the literature is there. Um, there's always area for concern, conflict with the plan. We try to execute the plan and along the side, we will change it accordingly. All right, so uh, this is what I can share. So how to write writing research problem? A statement of the problem, opening paragraph, something that need to solution, identify the issue, research base, practical problem, right? Reference used in the literature and, and so on and so on. This research problem, as I told you just now, uh, if you Google, you can always uh, find there's a lot of article on happiness, determinants of happiness from different perspective, a lot of different social uh, perspective, economic perspective, and the rest of the perspective. So we must know the literature and read and know what to write and then identify the issue and, uh, uh, and the research, the base practical to solve the practical problem and the reference from the literature. Those, those are the so-called uh, writing up the research problem. Right? Uh, the importance, the importance of a research problem is that justification of what other researchers have found Justification based on personal or workplace experience, maybe, uh, or depends on the research that you are doing. Right? Experience of others, uh, I mean, uh, uh, depending on what you're doing, right? Uh, the importance of problem statement, you must have a problem statement there. This one, after that, we have uh, uh, identified what's the issue, what's the problem, what's the controversy, what needs to be solved, right? Uh, uh, the problem being addressed in this study is like this, like this, for example, how are we going to solve it, right? So, 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 uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the issues there. So here, I give the example just now on digital poverty. So we, our, our problem, uh, the problem exists is because not everyone have the privilege to go online. So they might have certain quarters of population Ada banyak lagi orang tidak mempunyai smartphone, tidak mempunyai laptop, tidak mempunyai desktop dan so on. So that is the issue ahead. So how are we going to address it? Uh, itu problem it. And then how are we going to solve this issue? Right? And and so on. So this can be, uh, I, I, that, that is the, um, uh, rather than we look at literature mostly talks about digital divide. Means that digital divide in the sense that uh, a lot of people and uh, 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 numbers of people still do not have access to internet. But we go further uh, than uh, just access to internet. We go further into identify what's the issue behind of this digital divide. And then we try to come up with the framework and that framework we might, uh, in the end, we might call it digital poverty, the measurement of digital divide. Poverty, eh? <laughs> kemiskinan di dalam digital, right? So, uh, what's the attribute of the good research problem as existing here from from this uh, slide itself? Daripada slide ini, 
always ask our of the existing literature. Apakah kontribusi your uh, your paper, your research later? Will you study, replicate, examine different participants, different sites? Right? We study, extend the past research in the topic more thoroughly, look much more detail. This one, this 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 one just now, this one just now may be very much uh, related to what our friend asking just now on uh, Islamic corporate social responsibility, on the gold dinar also. Some studies have done it before. So you can do it differently, different perspective. Right? Same thing goes to the topic I just mentioned to you, digital uh, poverty. The, the topic might not be new, but the perspective of looking into that might be new and it sounds very relevant now especially in education, uh, the academia world today, right? Uh, will a study give voice to the people not heard, silent or rejected in the society? Uh, this one, this one maybe if, it, if your study relevant to towards achieving something uh, like SDG or achieving something on, uh, maybe your topic is about uh, uh, how, how does the technology improve uh, the business reporting maybe or business uh, 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 in terms of the information system yeah, the accounting information system or the how does the information transmitted much more prudence clear right? so that is to give up uh, to answer maybe this this kind of question or to address what happens in the society the social issue maybe to look at the social issue and put into uh, your business uh, or accounting or economics or management marketing kind of uh, research, right? Will, will be, will your study be practical? Boleh tak di apply? So, uh, for example, maybe study like uh, you want to look at rural transformation. Rural transformation, how to transform the rural area becoming a better, uh, better sense of uh, rural tourism transformation. For example, I link to tourism, tourism and rural, and then transform that to uh, to attract people to come to the village, maybe for 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 staying, sightseeing, and so on and so on and so on, and to sell their product, maybe. So, can be practical. So everything that we do, we have to link to practicality. Like just now, my I mean our topic, one of my our topic, me my other friends of researcher from other university talks about happiness. So hopefully our model, uh, our suggestion would be, will ensure that a person or the group of people be more happy <laughs> right, in, the end of, in the end of our research, right? And, and uh, uh, talking about that, surely that I, I will touch another big topic here inside the, uh, when we talk about the problem statement here or the research problem is that I cannot run away with ethics. Etika, ethics, uh, etika di dalam bahasa Malaysia. Uh, copying from one sources is plagiarism. Copying from several sources are research. You research more, you read more, it's called research. And then you get some idea, you have your own idea. But if you copy, satu saja, copy paste, itu plagiarism. Huh? <laughs> it's called plagiarism and it's a serious, serious misconduct. Uh, in, in research world. It's not fun to do that. Right? This one is just an uh, example of that. Uh, normally you have confish, uh, conf, uh, I mean, the, it, it, this one is true, yeah, especially in doing research, uh, survey research and so on that related. So sometimes you cannot disclose the informant, the participants. You cannot inform the name, you cannot disclose the name and so on. Uh, also, if you involve in, uh, not to say sensitive, involved in human behavior, uh, human research, uh, especially, uh, then you then especially you need some consent. You need people. You need the people. Uh, you want to interview the person. You need some consent whether you can interview the person or not. Right. Those also ethical issue that is very important. All right. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Uh, the ethical issue is that. Uh, yeah, this one also something yet to bear in mind, right? 
yeah, something that bear in mind, the one that I put here, uh, bear in mind. Researcher must be honest about their finding and, res uh, and research. Honest, honesty. For example, students, not just students, researchers believe that they will get better grades on their project, thesis, system, paper, dissertation, if they get, if they can produce statistically significant results. If this is from statistical point of view, from uh, quantitative. Kalau tak significant, buang. Kalau significant, oh, ini boleh dapat pass ni, boleh dapat A, very good. <laughs> uh, the hypothesis not necessary, must be honest. Whatever the result, report, right? Whatever the result, you just have to, uh, you just have to report. <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> Last week also, I just attend one uh, ujian, ujian, ujian. Sebelum tu ujian tertutup, lepas tu ujian terbuka. Last week is ujian terbuka untuk one of the university in Indonesia. Uh, I'm the external examiner for one of the PhD S3 thesis. Uh, the yeah very interesting topic because it's about uh, distro local distro distro uh, a new word for me distro local very interesting topic and very much related to business perspective and uh, management and so on and so on very practical uh, uh, towards the particular place uh, that the researcher focus on and to the business side especially towards the uh, small medium. Uh, enterprise or the informal business, very informal business, very important uh, practicality and so on. So, uh, although the results, the hypothesis of the result from the survey, although the hypothesis do not, uh, not all the hypothesis support of what the researcher want to find, but at least the researcher are uh, honest to report the results says that uh, ini tak significant, itu tak significant and so on. But we found uh, the person, the researcher found something else, something more interesting, other than just finding significant uh, result, finding more interesting and try to improve on that, try to provide suggestion towards the distro local uh, in that uh, business area and, and improve from there and to suggest to the relevant government what, what kind of investment they can put in to improve the area and, and so on. So that's for example, like that. So I have, uh, yeah, uh, it's good that I read the thesis. So, uh, and I, I learned something new, uh, something new called distro local. So, saya menjadi apa? Uh, examiner uh, di um, ujian tertutup dan terbuka. Ya. Uh, terbuka is last week. Minggu lepas saja. Last week only I have this uh, ujian terbuka. Uh, online, uh, fun. Um, but uh, different perspective and a lot more. I always read a PhD thesis and I learned a lot from there. Right? Uh, Malaysia punya PhD thesis ke Indonesia ataupun negara-negara lain. <laughs> so, right? So, kena jujur di dalam buat research. Yeah? Jujur. Uh, do not do, uh, do not copy, do not uh, uh, tipu diri sendiri. <laughs> right? Uh, why do miscon uh, why do scientific misconduct and this is all the answer there. I think, I think. Plagiarism is a big, adalah dosa yang besar <laughs> di dalam research. Plagiarism, dosa, dosa, besar ni. <clears throat> right, jangan buat, uh, I mean, uh, you copy other people work or you copy uh, and, and someone and someone else uh, and, and so on. Um, <clears throat> so sorry to drink uh, water first. Anyhow, uh, this one do happens maybe because of stress, because of uh, uh, pressure and so on and so on. But please do not go into that direction. It, it's not good. It's not well uh, doing that. Uh, um, yeah, we have numbers of uh, because because I because I manage a journal. I uh, I mean uh, I I manage the International Journal of Business and Society and other journal but mostly on IJBS, uh, we actually could detect a lot of uh, plagiarism. Uh, and not only plagiarism, we sometimes detect something that is copy 100% from someone else's work, which is not right uh, ethically. And uh, yeah, or, or, or other form of plagiarism. So, okay, so 
<clears throat> come up with your own originality. Yeah, try not to uh, try not to copy too much. If you need to copy, no problem, but make sure that you copy and then you rephrase, paraphrase, rewrite the the idea and come up with your own idea. All right. Uh, and the 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 topic related here is that uh, after I mean after ethical I I I link back to I link back to what we have here uh, what we call as a researchable issue, uh, especially what's the issue that you want to study right uh, which is very much related to the problem statement right uh, based on your based based on the problem statement itself uh, uh, so so basically surely that you need to know what is going on okay the process of identifying research so choose a topic frame the research question or the objective as i already tell you in the beginning design the design the project decide what style of research uh, how we're going to do it what method you're going to use and so on uh, choose a topic what's the scope right ini sebagai pemulaannya juga what interests you right uh, i straight away go these slides uh, uh, this one is uh, like a steps or relevant to you criteria to choose a topic interest and relevant choose a topic that interests and uh, excite you right uh, do not embark on research if you're not an in interest in <laughs> tapi when i say this i think a lot of uh, i might i might uh, i might uh, you know um, maybe some some of the some of my friends especially my fellow researchers and my friends la dosen dosen mungkin tidak bersetuju dengan apa yang saya cakap ini saya saya uh, me i always i always like my student or those who, who who want to do the phd or master under me or maybe s1 under me research i would i would always love the student to come up with the topic rather than i give them topic jika saya yang bagi topic uh, kepada pelajar itu ataupun student tu <coughs> it seems like I spoon feed saya bagi dia makan ah, makan 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 ah, ini topik dia <coughs> they come up with the topic <coughs> they tell me what what they want to do right? they tell me what they want to do and then I will try to improvise I will try to um, advise and provide some uh, idea and so on if I can right Normally, so interest and relevant very important. Durability, <clears throat> tahan lama. Choose a topic that is relevant, at least <clears throat> some years to come, right? Uh, in terms of time, in terms of cost, in terms of skill durability, uh, the breadth of research question. The, is is the topic too broad, narrow? How detailed should we go? Uh, and beware of the dead topic. When I say that topic is easy, uh, let's say, <clears throat> let's say you uh, let's say you have something in your mind. Uh, for now, you have something in your mind um, to to generate that idea further. Google it. You Google, and then if you find that the topic, the one that interests you. Uh, the last research published in that particular topic maybe 10 years ago 10 tahun lepas the last publication tidak ada publication terbaru for the past 10 years then you can ask yourself maybe this topic is already dead okay. <clears throat> maybe the topic is no longer the interest <clears throat> right in the literature don't just focus do not just focus the literature on Indonesia, on, on Malaysia, on Asia. Maybe you can look at bigger. Lagi besar pembahasannya, I mean, the, the seluruh dunia of the topic. All right. So based on that, and then you read, and then all over again, right? um, be more, uh, here, here says that be more flexible. Jika topik itu sudah dead, sudah mati, topik dia mati maybe tidak relevant lagi uh, change a bit the topic tukar sedikit tukar sedikit topic there that improve from there right <coughs> access boleh dapat access ni 
you may have an excellent topic in mind, but unless you get access to the people in terms of questionnaire, database, secondary data, the research will be a non-starter or, uh, or, or maybe from the perspective of uh, qualitative, make sure you know, uh, you always ask the question, who, why, kenapa, bagaimana, then how you want to do that, All right? So the access day is also important. The resources also important. The literature, apakah literature yang terbaru, right? the perubahan yang terbaru, uh, and uh, those uh, those available in the literature. All right. So this is something very important also, and uh, this is <clears throat> another guide. Uh, six step process of choosing a topic. Identify a broad topic, academic discipline. Just now, as I say, just now, like Goldina, uh, under maybe Islamic finance or Islamic economics, uh, Goldina, and then explore on that. What's the scope? What you have to study? A country, countries, company, subject, a person, a sector, uh, or the, the scope, right? And then uh, this is the question you should ask yourself also. And then brainstorm the ideas, the issues, the puzzle, the question, though this one, always put this thing in your mind. Always like this. Always question. Always question yourself. Banyakkan question. Question, question yourself and map the issue. Draw up the mind map. Put all the uh, relationship, maybe. Uh, and then read more right? uh, the relevance again i i think i, I think already mentioned saya sudah uh, berkali-kali uh, menyebut read baca kena baca <laughs> you have to read right <clears throat> conduct a reconnaissance active gathering of information is like a literature scan uh, scanning scan the literature read the literature uh, baca literature, sekarang ada banyak jenis literature uh, review uh, uh, including literature review pun boleh di publish uh, literature also can be published right now you can look at uh, what is SLR systematic literature review you can look at bibliometrics analysis you can look at uh, meta analysis all those are literature review article or bibliometrics kind of journal, infometrics, and a lot more, library science. Uh, so if your topic have that kind of publication, go good, read and read the literature. And then in the end, frame your research question so that it fits in your topic, right? Uh, question, very simple question. What you want to find? Uh, I want to test uh, or, or the, the question is that whether to know whether uh, the uh, gold dinner application is appropriate or not, right, for the country or for, for, for anyone here, right? So I think I move forward towards quite the end here already. The checklist for the good research topic uh, for thesis or paper, thesis ke, paper ke. Does the topic fit in? Specification and meet the standard? <laughs> Boleh. Uh, this one by the university, boleh tak topik begitu? Uh, is, is the topic something that you are fascinating about, you like? Or is it the topic of your uh, supervisor? Does the research topic content issues clear to the theory? Do you have or can you develop the project within time? Dua tahun boleh habis, tiga tahun boleh habis, satu tahun boleh habis? Achievable? Right. Uh, financial resources, if any, uh, you get access, other data, ta? Kalau tak ada data, how, how will you go about it? Uh, and then the research question, the objective, and then uh, are the findings for the research topics likely to be symmetrical that is of similar or similar value of what uh, whatever the outcome? I mean, this one you can predict, like what will be the result? Okay, so. I think uh, I will uh, it's now here in Malaysia 1240, 1240, 1243 here. <clears throat> we, have, uh, we have about 15 minutes or so that you can ask me question. 
right? Uh, you can ask me further question, or you can uh, spend spend some of your time uh, more on the question side. If if you have time to do this, I think I I I this is my end my my last slide. This is my last slide actually. <clears throat> yeah, banyak hashtags <laughs> uh, yeah, this one, this one, uh, you don't have to do it now, but you can do it later uh, when you uh, to finish up this part and uh, we can continue on for tomorrow. You can spend some time later, write something in your mind and maybe some of you would like to share it tomorrow. I hope to see all of you again tomorrow. Uh, you, you can share your what, what you have in your mind tomorrow. Uh, you spend some time. Not necessarily about your research. It can be something else. It can be, it can be the movie that you watched last night, <laughs> the food that you eat this morning, uh, and what you do all day actually, uh, yesterday or I mean for tomorrow maybe what you do yesterday, and 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 so on. <laughs> so something in your mind uh, that maybe you can, uh, that we can do, and then we can spend it sometime for tomorrow maybe. Right for tomorrow. This this practice maybe for tomorrow because tomorrow we have another two session. All right. So I think I will. I think I will stop here for a while. Uh, if you have any question, uh, put in the chat box uh, or you can ask me. And I think I will pass back to the uh, uh, moderator. And uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, you can always ask me. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Plenty of time to ask. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for the insightful uh, uh, speech. And I think, yeah, uh, in my personal opinion, defining the research problem is the one of the hardest parts in mm -hmm. doing research because it drives how we we proceed uh, to the next step of the research. And yeah, uh, I will give the time. For the participant, if you have any questions, you can use the raise hand features. Okay, I yeah, Rian Subagio. Yeah, please. Uh, I think you can. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you for the time uh, that um, Mr. Moderator to give the time for us to ask questions. His Excellencies, Mr. Agung Nurrobo Hudono as our chief and all of the students uh, that I can call it one by one. Distinguished Mr. Evan Lau, I have a few questions for you. Actually, I have two questions um, about the, something about research and uh, generally. Well, the first question is one of the big obstacles for Indonesian students is they are so hard to innovate um they just choose to take other people's work other people's places and manipulate it and what happened if it happened sustainably um that's the first questions and the number two as a student um also we are make a thesis for our final exam and uh we also take an internship uh and research for that uh, in some company or some some office. Um, well, what should we do if the company uh, that that we research and intern for doesn't give a much information? This is uh, the purpose is to implementation of the solutions of our thesis. Thank you. All right. Mm. Thank you very much. I think. I need, I need more uh, information on the first part there, the first question. What do you mean by manipulate? Manipulate, does it mean? I mean like, contact, men contact. Okay. I think like replication, like, is it? Yeah, replications. Uh, um, they are taken in some libraries of the, of the thesis and they just, they just like uh, write write it again but like in different uh, in different way in in the in the different problem but mostly 
the purpose of the of the thesis is the same between um, uh, his or him uh, take, but uh, the problem in here is like uh, why they are not so they are so hard to innovate and uh, make a new uh, report, make a new thesis, make a new uh, topics of the thesis, and what happen if this are happen it sustainably uh, because. They are nothing. Um, some innovation, a new innovation, new purposes of the problems. Thank you. Okay. Mm. All right. I try to, I try to respond on that because that's another important issue. Also, I mean, I think, I think this not just for generally in Indonesia. I think it generally happens every way. <laughs> it talks about, uh, talks about uh, innovation. It depends, uh, if you talk about innovation, uh, I think it depends, for me, it depends on the threshold or the level of innovation. Means that uh, uh, if you look at, the, I mean, like I mentioned just now, if you look at the uh, different perspective of a research, that can be a kind of a innovation uh, or new perspective of uh, all topic, new perspective. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, that's this that's what research is uh, all about for me i mean means that uh, not necessary every time you want to do a thesis or a paper you must have a huge huge innovation but at least that innovation that you propose is genuine it's new at that perspective at that particular perspective right you can always uh, we can always refer to the previous uh, uh, research or uh, the word that you use is manipulator or use use some other people research and improve from there hopefully that research that that someone pick up is not a dead topic and that's the only thing it's not a dead topic means that the topic is no longer relevant not, nobody talks about that anymore in the literature uh, not indonesia look outside indonesia adakah topic adakah topic tu masih relevant di luar daripada Indonesia. Jika kita tidak relevan untuk Indonesia, then ask yourself why that is relevant only for Indonesia. Means that is very local topic, right? Nothing wrong with local topic, tetapi uh, you have to know what's the relevant behind and what can improve behind that. So there's two way of looking at it. You can innovate whether it's small or big, uh, the measurement, uh, and you can, uh, not to say, use, I, I don't use the word copy, you can look at other research research I've done before and improve from there. No problem. I don't see there's a problem as long as there's an improvement. The proof that in the, uh, proof that right on, write it on in the thesis, this is my innovation. This is what I do. This is what previous literature do. This is what I do. I improve from there. This is my model. This is what I found. And this is the application, for example. That's first. The second one, uh, uh, very close related to the internship just now. right? Uh, uh, and then uh, if you provide something, for, for me, this is, yeah, you do some research for the company or you try to apply the, uh, the thing that you do into the, uh, for, for that particular, particular company that you intern in, yeah, I think it depends on the agreement between you uh, or the interns and the company itself. What's the agreement? If the agreement is uh, to find out something and to, to have this solution and uh, it belongs to the company or belongs to you and so on and so on, then it should be clear at the beginning what, 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 what they want to achieve and what you want to achieve. Okay, must be clear. Then you can provide a more suitable solution. If it's not clear, then uh, you do this, and then the company say, "Yeah, hey, why, why you do this? Why you change our uh, whole uh, system and so on?" <laughs> right. So it must be clear at first, and hopefully, the, uh, I mean, in the hope that the solution, uh, the solution proposed by the intern, solve the problem. Uh, I mean, whatever problem there is, it I'm just talking about generally. So it must have some kind of agreement first before you proceed, surely. And if not, then uh, things might go a little bit haywire after that. All right. Uh, thank you for the two questions. Yeah. yeah. Any more questions? Yes,
Ya, terima ya. kasih Mas Rian. Oke, okay, uh, we still have few minutes left. Ya. Yeah. So ya, yeah, uh, please if one of the participants still have questions, you can raise the hand, raise hand features. You can use it. No. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> then I, 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 I have us uh, one short questions to Dr. Evan. Uh, again, this is uh, not technical uh, part. So uh, could you please share with us uh, how you uh, uh, how you get the inspirations about the research questions? I mean, is it from uh, after after reading the the hundreds of papers or <laughs> or or maybe you just see it or read one newspaper and then you get the idea or you say or oh, lihat fenomena setiap hari and then you get the idea so uh, based on your experience which one is more uh, more frequent all right <clears throat> uh, for me uh, is the inspiration always come from the uh, surrounding environment Uh, normally, when I see uh, certain things, and uh, and uh, for for now, I mean, uh, maybe, I mean, uh, previously or years ago, the is the inspiration surely. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of inspirasi. Uh, inspirasi nya datang daripada semua tempat uh, dan datang daripada diri sendiri, uh, for yourself, and certainly outside yourself. And the observation that we do sometimes, or the things that we read, uh, and then we found, oh, this can be done, uh, and then you develop the idea, uh, and then you share your idea, maybe or some of your ideas with some of your friends, and then from there you develop more. That's one thing uh, that I normally got some ins inspiration. Uh, sometimes also, I kadang kadang, uh, sometimes I saw I I got. I got some inspiration daripada movie that I watch, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, or the things that I watch, especially uh, movie. Sometimes, uh, e e uh, even from YouTube or any place that you watch, or some uh, music video, maybe then you get some inspiration. Like, oh, okay, this is interesting, uh, and then from there you can further develop the idea, hope uh, with the hope of getting more of that. Uh, Oh, <clears throat> the other part that I'm I'm lucky in that sense. I'm lucky also uh, that I in in one year normally I read uh, I manage to read or 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 numbers of university actually ask me to become examiner. So sometimes I read a thesis uh, which might not be hundred uh, percent my field, but I know the topic. It's just not be hundred percent my 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 feel so i read and then i gain some new idea it's like oh this one okay then i share then i then i will try to develop it right if can and uh, uh in, in such a way so reading a thesis i gain some inspiration uh watching some movie i gain some inspiration and and looking at surrounding area uh and the people around me sometimes I get some uh, motivation too uh, and 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 surely reading article journal article also uh, within within the topic of your interest you read they say oh this is what in the letters in the literature so you read there you get some inspiracy okay? and and uh, this is this is where I get my inspiracy yeah? so for the past so many years until today and 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 so many other places. I I say I always be blessed. Like like while while talking to you, uh, while doing this webinar, I have my uh, desktop beside me. Uh, email coming in. Uh, there's few email coming in. Ask me to review paper, review journal, review journal and uh, review thesis. Pun ada review journal lah, especially for today this morning. I received some uh, to become reviewer and the topic. Uh, not 100% related to me but I know the topic and I could learn something new from the research from the paper right? <laughs> so yeah from the journal and I I just click okay here I, I just click yes I agree to review <laughs> while we are discussing here so 
this is something I I would say that I can, uh, in in one sense, is good multitasking. <laughs> so my mind can think in such a way. I I I'm glad. I'm blessed that my mind can do this, answering this, and look at at the same time look at another topic, <laughs> and I click OK uh, for the uh, reviewing. Wow, this is yeah. So uh, that's what that's what I could share for now. Thank you. Any question? Any question? I would love more question. Okay, thank you very much for the response, Doctor Evan. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, again, maybe if you have any questions for from the participants. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Mm. No? Uh, okay, yeah. Our head of department, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, doctor. Sometimes we have uh, research with what I say. It is uh, fundable, but sometimes our research is uh, publishable. Yeah. So the what's it? What we talk is. I want to say that. Uh, sometimes the publishable paper and then fundable paper is was it what we call it uh, not related. And my question is uh, how we can make fundable but publishable research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fun, huh? you mean fun? Is it fundable or yeah, fun? Fundable, yeah, yeah, fun, <laughs> fundable, fundable. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you enjoy the fun. research. No, no, fun, fundable is uh, was it what we call it? Galang. Somebody, someone uh, pay you money for that for for doing yeah. that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right. Uh, I think. I think the uh, for me for me this is from my perspective. <clears throat> uh, most most of the research that are publishable that are published in the journal, especially the big journal, the big top journal today, they 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 will have the perspective that uh, your publication actually come from a funded uh, from a from a fund means that from a research grant. That's very important. Uh, that I think that's a very important. But thank you for the question. Huh? That's very important to clear this to clear this part. Uh, from my experience uh, with the big journal and the big publisher, uh, right now, especially like if your journal, uh, mungkin that journal, uh, bukan kamu. Uh, if you manage a journal, for example, you want to get into Scopus, you want to get into Impact Factor, the Web of Science, the the, the publisher will look at whether the paper that you publish in the journal, a journal means that bukan, bukan journal yang kita tulis, tapi kita manage journal, the, the journal owned by the faculty, the journal owned by the university. They will look at with one of the criteria uh, untuk menjadi Scopus uh, journal, ialah salah satu criteria, walaupun dia bukan criteria yang besar, uh, salah satu criteria ialah they want the uh, they want the paper actually to be funded by a research grant. Any grant is possible, no problem. Whether it's local grant, university grant, or, or some company grant, or or international grant, it doesn't matter. But they look into that scopus. Web of Science also doing that. Clarivet lah, Clarivet Analytics also do that. If you manage a journal, so uh, so I think uh, for me. Most of the publication should come from a research grant. Whether that grant is, uh, 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 I mean, come from a research grant. That's the perspective of this big publisher. Uh, we yes, it, it can come out from a thesis. Uh, thesis daripada uh, daripada uh, S3 ke S2 ke S1 ke yes, they come from a thesis, and that thesis actually uh, could be funded by a grant from the university. Uh, means that maybe the maybe the student got the scholarship from the university or uh, while while we are doing our PhD, we got the scholarship from the university. Then you should put is actually funded by the university. So something like that. So that these people, this big journal, 
this big publisher, they will say that, oh, this grant is actually from this, this grant is actually from that, and so on. As long they see that statement, I think not <clears throat> it's not guaranteed to be published, the chances, but then again, should they have the perspective, every research should be funded. Uh, that that that's my that's that's what I want to uh, uh, clarify here, Miss. I mean, Doctor Agung. Thank you very much for the question. <laughs> because sometimes, uh, as we know, that the was it the grant is a. Uh, you know what I say that, kadang-kadang uh, uh, topic uh, very old, very not <laughs> not in a. Topic baru, yeah. Not yeah. In, in a new topics, the the the, the pro research proposal open for proposal usually uh, tak bukan topik baru, but uh, journal want a new topic, want a new want a new topic. So I mean, uh, what's it? What I what I say that uh, it's a like a, what what we say the the opposite, yeah. So the the journal want as something new but the uh, fun, funding one uh, something yeah developmentalism yeah for example like in our country uh, the 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 fund uh, the pro open for proposal is about for example like uh, uh, developmentalism and then uh, for example like uh, was it corporate governance in very, very old uh, topic and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, the journal want the uh, something new. Uh, mm. how, how we how we make it, uh, for example, oh, huh? <laughs> to become harmony? <laughs> Bol, I, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I get your question there. I yeah. So, Yes, it's, it's, it's true in that sense. Uh, in one sense, it's true. Then <clears throat> I think the the funder, the funder, yang, yang bagi duit tu, the, the yeah. funder of the grant, they, uh, um, I, I'm sure they want also in the, the end, uh, also they want, uh, depending on who is the funder, they also want something that is more relevant now rather than something that happens 10 years ago. <laughs> right? And, 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 and out of, from our side, kita nak they publish. Uh, yeah. Such a point of view, kita nak publish. We want to have some grant. Surely, uh, depending on what type, like I say just now, depending on siapa funder tu, who fund the grant. So if the funder wants something which is quite fundamental, all, uh, not not all, maybe something that is still uh, be used until today, then we just do as what they want. But then for the publication, we can use that as a guide. Uh, then we publish something that is new but related to that topic. I think you can go that that road, uh, Doctor Agung. No problem. Uh, uh, you, you publish something new, tetapi dia berkaitan dengan uh, something uh, from from the grant. Uh, because the grant, the grant want to see that. I mean, the publisher want to see that uh, this come from a from a from a topic, not necessary a very uh, the the grant. They they will not go and check the grant. Uh, but the topic of the grant, as long you justified says that this is from this grant and this is the topic of the grant, this is the topic of my research. They mungkin tidak seratus peratus, hundred percent with the topic of the grant, but it's related to the grant. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I. That's what I can yeah, say. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. And then, uh, Dr. Rifan, please yes. tell our student. Please tell our student. Uh, apa yang bisa diperbuat atau uh, kaitan dengan uh, job opportunity relating to related to the uh, was it methodology research I mean besok dia bisa jadi apa gitu uh, profesi professional research bagaimana kemudian dia bisa take for money from uh, research uh, and so on and so on. Can you please tell our student about the opportunity in a job, I mean, in a job opportunity in a methodology research? Okay. Mm, all right. Okay. okay. <clears throat> you want me to uh, 
have, have a say now? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, please tell our student about the opportunity in our research in the future, doctor. Okay. Uh, Related to the job occupancy, yeah. Okay, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. All right, so this this one, uh, this uh, what been, been, been suggested by your, uh, but anyhow, all, uh, all, all the participants uh, inside here, most, most of you are students, uh, you should be very thankful that you have a very good, uh, very care, very care, I mean, uh, very, how to say that, uh, uh, dosen yang sangat prihatin uh, dan sayang kepada uh, semua, yeah? uh, for all of you, uh, because uh, he, he uh, I mean, Dr. Agung here want to know uh, or, or actually uh, more concern what you're going to do after this right so 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 on on, on that ground whatever that you're doing uh, whether you're doing s2 ke s2 ke or maybe st ke, ke or maybe plan to do that uh, is that the 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 job scope i i do not provide the kind of uh, uh, i do not have a very specific one but in general it says that if you do research uh, you will get into a lot of places, especially. Um, maybe in the future, you, I mean, those of you are in accountancy, uh, I mean, accountancy, in, I mean, probably mo most of you are inside here, accountancy. Uh, you, you might, you might uh, end up working in, in, in some way as an as a accountant, public accountant, or maybe chartered accountant or something like that, which also need your skill in research to do some research for your company, for the benefit of the company, and for your research, uh, I mean, uh, for, for the research side. Or maybe some of you will end up working with uh, financial institution, uh, your central bank or some banks, and you want to know about, uh, you want to research about, uh, maybe your boss later, your CEO girl will ask you, oh, can you do a research something on this, this, or, or who can do that? So with this kind of skill, that you have uh, from the universities, uh, from your, uh, from this university, from from UNS, and from what you've been uh, searching about, then you have the kind of skills so that you can practice in any particular field, in any particular businesses that you're involved in. Uh, and I give another 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 example. My friend, I have a friend from, uh, I have a friend who graduated from, no, I. The university doesn't matter. I I I have a friend who who is who have a PhD, S3 di dalam engineering, technique, PhD uh, in engineering. After he he after he graduated, he worked as a business consultant. Do you see that? Do 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 you all see the very divergence kind of a jump? He's an engineering. He's an engineer. The thesis is about engineering. <laughs> uh, I I seen the thesis. His thesis. His background is all engineering, uh, from S1, S2, S3. But uh, then after he graduated, he worked with a consultant, business consultant. Nothing to do with engineering. That's what I see. That's what I see. But then he tell me, "You are wrong. The business consultant need engineer inside there." to look at engineering perspective and for the for to improve their business to go further right uh, he joined he joined actually boston consultant i think you can google boston consultant which is one of the which one of the big big consultant firm in the world right uh, boston consultant uh, firm. Uh, so he worked with them for a few years and then after that he moved to another uh, he moved to another company right now. He's with uh, the company F1. F1 company who do the F1, lah, who, do the, who do the Formula 1. Uh, not as an engineer, but as a, a business manager, business sustainability manager or something like that along that road. Doing some business proposal, sustainable business proposal and so on and so on. So, yes, with that research skill, Although his domain is engineering, 
Tetapi dia boleh masuk di dalam bidang yang lain mungkin, dalam business. And to improve the dynamic business in any particular business. So that's what we are going into. So with the skill that you have, you can apply into some other field, not necessary to become an accountant only. You can, you can, you can work in a research house. You can set up your own company. You can uh, 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 work in some other field. Which So your, your, your job opportunity is endless as long uh, if you have this kind of skill, the research skill that is important. So he, my friend, he applied his research skill into this uh, business dynamic sustainability perspective. His, his expertise in engineering. <laughs> That's true story. I, I do not create the story, <laughs> right? And same thing goes to our, one of our students. Uh, I have a numbers of students also. We have one of our students who, who, who actually S1 is doctor, medical doctor. S1 medical doctor. Lepas tu S2, uh, she, she do our MBA, our MBA, uh, Master of Business Admin, uh, MBA program. I asked her, you are a doctor. You practice, you still practice your doctor. Why you want to do MBA? She provide me a very simple answer in the class. I want to manage the hospital. Oh, I want to manage the hospital. Okay, <laughs> so that's her answer. And yes, uh, um, that's, that's, that's her focus. Yes, she has medical background. She's the uh, she, she uh, ex, uh, I mean uh, medically she she's a doctor, but then again she also won the master the MBA to manage the hospital properly with the background of uh, uh, medical doctor. So that's another example of very extreme, totally different. But then again, so what 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 she apply in that particular field is that we. Uh, she has the research skill, she has the skill that she needed and they apply into a different field. So the method, the research method here, uh, to understand the research method here is very important. That's so because in the future, maybe some of you do not, not necessarily becoming uh, uh, the, 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 the field or the study that you do in the university. Mungkin kamu akan bekerja di bidang lain, di jurusan lain. Tapi itu tidak apa, as long you know the skill. All right? So, uh, I think that's my response. Huh? Thank you very much for the question again. Thank you, Dr. Ivan. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, terima kasih, Pak Dono, atas diskusinya. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we, have, we only have a limited time, so I believe that we still have uh, many questions to ask to Dr. Ivan, but uh, yeah, we can... Uh, have another discussions tomorrow and now we are in the end of the first day of this visiting lecture uh, to to wrap up uh, i'm taking quote from the first slide of dr evan uh, we can see that the uncertainties is a good thing to motivate us for uh, doing research because this research is important way to answer these uncertainties and I think that's what the, this is what uh, make researcher to, to keep moving and, and stay alive. <clears throat> and thank you very much for all the insight, knowledge, and also the experience that uh, Dr. Evan uh, had sharing with us. And I believe that it enhanced our uh, knowledge about doing research. Thank you very much, Dr. Evan. And uh, for the audience, Thank you very much for joining our visiting lecture. We still have uh, uh, the second day of this visit visiting lecture about uh, uh, research design and also data analysis tomorrow morning, same time. And again, thank you very much and stay healthy and see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rifan. Thank, 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 thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you all. Terima kasih semuanya. Terima kasih. Uh, stay sampai akhir acara. Terima kasih, Pak Dr. Taufik.
Ya. Yeah. Foto, Pak Taufik kita bisa foto Pak Taufik. Oh iya iya iya. Oke, sorry. I forgot. So we should have ya, yeah, we should have a, a photo session. Please ya, yeah. uh, turn on your uh, camera. Uh, ya. Yeah. Dinyalakan kameranya. Eh uh, Rivan can you please uh, to stop the uh, screen. Oke oke. Ya. Ya, can can can. Sorry, okay. sorry. And then Let's go to photo session. Please turn on your camera to everybody. Yeah. And then two centimeter right, two centimeter left. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stay healthy. Thank you very much. Sehat-sehat right. semuanya. Sehat-sehat semuanya. Sehat-sehat. Semuanya. Sampai ketemu. Jangan lupa besok pagi uh, di hari yang kedua. Sampai jumpa. Ketemu besok okay. pagi. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Dokter Ivan. Thank you, thank you everyone. Bapak Ibu. Terima kasih, Dokter Ivan. Sampai ketemu lagi. Okay. See you tomorrow. 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 See you tom